Ah, guten Tag, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this episode 169 of the DHB Radio Show. My name, over the loud intro there, is Scott Taylor. I'm the Sasquatch. I'm the host of the show. I'm the man with the plan, the boy with the bells, the, the dude with the studio. And Hello, studio guests. How are you doing? Before we carry on, uh, I want to introduce to you a new guest in studio. Uh... The guy to you can see on camera right now to the right hand side of Spider Lurch, and uh, he, I mean, majestic, lovely hat, merci, Thank sir, you. and wonderful glasses. Thank you so much. I believe those are three D TV glasses. I believe they are. I'm seeing you in multiple D's right now. I was gonna. Are you talking about my That's tits? Big days. <laughs> How fucking dare you? Is I'm t- because I I think that we are a, a kind of genre breaking podcast here. I think that we've we're hitting new levels where you are now. S- 3D glasses. You, you're seeing him in 3D, people. This is free of charge. This is FOC. You can't pay. What other podcast do I, I ask you? Broadcast live on a Monday night. Who releases that video then on a fucking YouTube's with 3D vision happening? He's got three. Are you seeing me in 3D vision? I'm seeing you in every deep. Watch possible. this one. Put my hand towards you. Whoa! No! <laughs> See, you like that shit. Get out of my head. Yeah, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Of course, <clears throat> uh, we'll get back to you shortly, creepy Bob. Um, and of course, but to your right hand side, making a, a a very triumphant return after a short break from the DHB is everyone's favorite. Well, I say everyone, most people's favorite. Uh, it's the lurch. It's spider lurch. How are you doing, sir? <coughs> Hello, pals. Oh, I, I like the dramatic pause like there. I do. Although you have moved the mic down again. Oh, sorry. <laughs> See, what, hey, what, it's what? new. It is new, but you have to speak to it directly. You can't do this whole kind of... See, you're watching too much TV. You're watching too much TV where, you know, the radio DJs have the microphone down from their they've face. They've got the professional shit. Because, because... They've got the good stuff. This is the good stuff right here. You are on the new saxophone, we call it. <laughs> this is the new This is the new bass, Maynard-loving... Pink, anal, sex-giving fucking microphone here. <laughs> and you need to use it properly. I will use it correctly. You've got to speak to it in a proper big boy voice and, you know, cont- and, and ha- have it near your face. And like, it's, like a, a, it's a wonder why I ever left. I know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but it's good to see you back, though. Thank you kindly. You've, been, uh, you've ob- obviously been off for a few weeks now. But, but nearly a month, is it? Nearly a month, it must be, surely, yes. At and, least. And how have you been? The big question is, of course, people have been asking, what's happening with Lurch? What's going on with Lurch? How's he doing? I can't tell you. You can't tell me. There is an embargo. We have mentioned on previous shows there's a somewhat of an embargo on what's been happening with you and your massive feed. Now, yeah. But can we, I mean, can we say that, you know, that, because people have thought about it was related to this same person that was discussed before, the reason why you were off. Can we say this much that it really wasn't involving him at all? No, no. No, it's a whole different he thing is, entirely. He is no more, though. He is no more. Uh, we, of course, we can be brushed that later on, perhaps, <laughs> in the show. But but you are now a free man. You're a single working man. I say a single worker. You're not single. You're attached, of course. But in the shop trade, you work by yourself. I'm happy as shit. You, you do seem much happier. I'm you seem much again. chirpier. Mm. Great. Because I've been in your shop now a few times the last kind of, couple of weeks. And you do... Because before, no offence, but you'd come into your store and you'd be greeted with a miserable face. <laughs> you know, oh, hello... And I, I, in. I couldn't do well. You know, I'll suffer your poverty and medicine and get a bit of fucking grub sold to you, you fat bastard. You know, <laughs> it wasn't fun, but, you, but you've changed. It's almost like now you welcome visitors, oh, that you seem more kind of yourself again. The bowels have relaxed, the fucking anus is loosened. I've had my first solid shit nearly three years. <laughs> you really? Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> no, no, it's great. Um, It's like a Swiss watch, a Swiss watch in there now. Ah. Uh-huh. Oh, ace. Just, I love, Do you know? I love going to my job. Everything seems to be because before, again, not casting aspersions or or doubts upon people, but before there was it was more unruly. That your counters didn't seem quite as well stocked. Shit looked like it was going missing. Really, Shit. suppose you could well, say. Uh, well, suppose you could say. For example, well, yes, you could say that it looked like. Shit was going missing, but you, you can't say it. We, we don't know. We don't know these things. But it does seem now you do have more stock it's, in the go. It's crazy the amount of stock I've got in the go just now. Yes. Fucking and nuts. Are you buying more stock? Oh my fuck. Are you it's not? scary. I think I've wow. got a magic chill. Are you selling less? No, I'm selling just as much, if not more. If not more. If not more. That is customers are flocking back to the deli You butcher. must have a magic chiller. Oh, a magic penis as well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
And we'll get back to you shortly. Speaking about penises, hello, creepy Bob. How are you doing? Good evening. Good evening. I eye the creepy Bob. Uh, I, 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 I the money. I eye the money. Now, creepy Bob. Of course, you are what we like to call a listener of the show, mm-hmm. uh, and you are from the great. Or I say from. You live in the great town, stroke village, street fiefdom of Forfar. Or in the Forfarshire area. The Forfar. Neck of the woods, anyway. The Forfar Shire. Creep, creepy Bob. Is it a Forfar Brady or a Forfar Brady? It is a Forfar Brady. It's a Brady, is it? And it what is. happens when Forfar play Fife at the football? Do they just say, you know, Forfar Fives, Fifers Four? <laughs> no, it how does it work? It has never happened to oh, this date. Has it not? Apparently. Oh, apparently I see. So. Okay. Br- Brady Bob. Um, Brady Bob. <laughs> is it a steak Brady or a mince Brady? Well, you see, you get both versions. You can have the normal mince brady, which is your staple, your Saturday lunchtime choice. I do enjoy a mince brady. I fucking hate them. They're just a pastry and mince. They're fucking shit. You sell this shit. How <laughs> fucking dare you, sir? <laughs> throw the fuckers in the bin. Oh, right, okay. Awful. <laughs> so. For for Bob. Um, <laughs> bra- brady Bob. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, is it a steak and gravy pie? <laughs> I have the idea. Are you considering branching out? <laughs> it's the chocolate whiskey. And I'm just so glad to be back. Did you miss me? I have missed you. While I was away. I have missed you. Did you hang my picture on your wall? Uh, no. Did you miss me? Every no. single day. We, we have. There has been some folk that have missed you. I personally can give a fuck about you. I think you should burn in hell well, It's good to be back. Thank it's goodness. It's good to be back. It's co- Hello. It's good to be back. I'm back you, again. you have brought alcohol with you. <laughs> <laughs> Shit's just going to my head just now. Is it really? <laughs> because, folks, I will warn you that on tonight's show, uh, the Large Monster has made some more home brew. Um, hello, hello, I'm back it's again. It's a little bit worrying. Is that you've made, you've made whiskey, <coughs> homemade whiskey. It, it started off as whiskey. Started off as okay. It was an accident. Oh. Mm. In the caravan that was making it in. <laughs> okay, okay, fucking Walter White. <laughs> so, Heisenberg, how did you make your fucking whiskey? Is it blue, perhaps? It, it was, Am I going to get fucked up here? Well, Am I, I going to wake up in blue? a ditch with fucking trap marks on my arms? Well, you know how he's got, like, blue crystal meth? Yes. We have got brown whiskey. Shite-covered whiskey. Brown, brown whiskey, sir. I'm going to show this to the camera. Ebony whiskey. Ebony, oh, ebony whiskey, oh, really? No, well, I'm going to look for the chat room. And for those of you who are listening to the podcast, go and look at the video over on uh, youtube.com slash dockhouse my you're camera's looking now. going to focus which is a pain in the arse I'll fix that right now is that here's the glass does that not look like liquefied shite to you but it, it doesn't taste like it though does oh it? no it tastes wonderful it's like heaven so you've made you started by making a whiskey do you uh, not need a, a whiskey base well I was going to ask do you not need a still well, to make these things technically you need a still to make a whiskey base what I was making was like ethanol Oh, right. Basically okay. the shit that you make crystal meth with. So, you're making shit to fuel a car. I, I was making tarps. So <laughs> okay. There's a bit of graffiti on my shop saying, fuck you, I hope you die. Uh, I'll right. have you killed. So, I was going oh. to get it cleaned off the shutters. <laughs> so, I was making my own so I, my own tarps, my own paint stripper. Uh, and I I spilled a bit of chocolate into it. And you you know, you were sitting eating a Cadbury's fruit and nut I, yeah, ex- over a radiator. As I do. As uh, is my want for a Sunday evening. Yes, you're in the, you're in the shop and you're cutting beef. I've just got my shirt on a and my wife runs. fruit and nut, you know, over the radiator. It gets a bit hot. Melts into your whiskey fucking jar style type thing. And hey presto. Hey presto. Look at us now. Chocolate liqueur. Well, is it f- liqueur? It, no, whiskey. 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 Is it really a whiskey though? Well, if it was a liqueur, I think it'd be more smooth. It, it, wouldn't, just, it wouldn't pull your, your, your fucking your gums back over your teeth. <laughs> your <lungs back> over. <laughs> I mean, I mean, uh, Brady Bob, uh, of course the you bra- are. Yeah, the Brady Bob. Uh, hi, the Brady Bob. Eh? <laughs> so, of course you are, you are driving this evening. I am driving Would you evening, care about we sippy off the, off the poopy whiskey here? I Bo- shall go Bob, on. Brady Bob. Are you doing lifts? <laughs> <laughs> I shall have a smell. I oh. think I, I think a smell may tip me over a the legal smell. limit. Anyway. A, a let's shave a glass. Let's shave a glass. Now, are you a drinker yourself, Brady I, Bob? I do enjoy you? a drink. You do? I do enjoy a drink. A spot of rum never fails a spot to hit the target. Of rum, you it see. was going to be rum. Try it, Brady Bob. It's chocolate rum. It was just chocolate rum. It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> it's it's chocolate. Like, that's, a, that's a big sniff. It's like a naughty dairy milk. Oh, it is. Oh. It was when my dick was in it. Oh, oh I forgot oh, to tell you. Oh, oh no. Sake. I forgot to tell you. Did you? Oh, you prick. That's <laughs> lovely. I've gone through half a glass of the fucking stuff so far. That's lovely, is it? It's lovely. Tell you it was, it was a magical thing. So what What then kind of inspired you to move away from the, the brewing of the beers and the ciders to making more of a, a spirit-based uh, substance that looks like shit? To be fair, this shit has been lying in a demi-john. Aha. Uh-huh. Since November. Oh, a demi-jean. Yeah, well, like a, a glass bottle uh-huh. for making homebrew. 
Right, it's okay. It's been sat in that bottle since November. Oh, has it? So it's, it's well fermented then? Oh, it's proper Aged. shit. If we go blind or die... Listen, if I lose the power of speech, which I invented... <laughs> you normally do if you've been drinking it all fucking year. <laughs> <laughs> Take it to the bridge. Hey! hey! You fucking prick. So, if I lose the power of speech and sight... Then it's entirely down to you. I think the rooms are going to be for a nice evening. Then. A quiet laughing. evening. <laughs> a quiet evening. Xbox <laughs> on. <laughs> Don't touch me, fly. I can't even find you. You know? <laughs> I am not a clue. Bunny be bunny. But it's good stuff, though. I'm impressed. Lovely. So, I mean, uh, but speaking of alcohol, of course, uh, Brady Bob. Brady Bob. Four Far Bob himself. I from Four Far. Uh, you have come all the way from Four Far. Indeed. And but you've also brought alcohol with you. He never I, bought any fucking Brady's though, did he? He did not bring Brady's, but I believe you will do next time because you've come in here with a case of beer. Well, you see, I was, I was wandering around the hinterland outside, and a small sort of mid- middle-aged man came up to me and says, oh, "You know, I'm not needing this beer. Not partial to a drink. Would you like to do something with?" It? And now, I thought, who better to gift that beer to? I, I'm sorry, but oh my god, what the fuck? Straight away. Shit. St- that's coming like fucking oh tar. God. It's upside down. He's pouring the whiskey and it's coming like fucking tar. Oh, Listen, right here's why I call you a liar, sir. Oh, how very it's well because, you. It's because you, you claim you're walking around this area and somebody offered you beer. Nobody around here in the fucking Deadlands is giving away their beer. But I can the, assure you I was walking because some bugger nicked the wheels off my car. <laughs> right, okay. <coughs> oh, oh no. <coughs> Hold on, folks. Lord's is <coughs> dying. You had a good gulp of the chocolate oh. whiskey. It's... All the whiskey shit to the bottom. You've got to wor- <laughs> you, listen, <laughs> Larch, you've got to worry when when you're pouring it out and you have to hold the bottle completely oh, vertical. It was like tomato sauce, was it? It was it all but <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, somebody just touched my leg. I thought it was Brady Bob, but No, it's it's not Brady I, Bob. I, I either might low. I yeah. either might low. So so you of course have been brewing the whiskey again. Well brewing whiskey soy spirits again. Uh you've had a wee quiet spell, I believe, with the trades uh time here in Aberdeen. It trades Fortnite. That's when it sort of quietens down. Can you explain for our international listeners what the trades fortnight is? It's when fuckers stop coming in <laughs> and they show up at like four o'clock right. when you're taking the counters out and ready to go home. Uh-huh. Been in since six and you're ready to go home at four. Oh, can I have a pick and mix, Mr. Butcher? Oh. Uh, it's normally me now. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> so, no, but it, it quietens down. Last year, it quietened down, so I started home brewing. Uh huh. So, again, this year it's quieting down. So, a little bit of a quiet spell, you think, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make some evil whiskey. I'm going to do something with that bottle of liquid that's precariously sat next to my television. Ah. It might be flammable. So, I'll hold on. Chocolate you thought a bottle beside your TV of, of the, fermenting the spirit. Spirit, basically. Which has probably been irradiated to fuck by your TV. And then you've added some chocolate to it. But my- I might become Spider-Man. You might become Spider-Man. You might become the Hulk. <laughs> oh, this is exciting. That's my fucking dream, I'll tell you. That's my fucking dream. So, Brady Bob, um, Four Far, Four Far, Four Far, Bob. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bob. <laughs> so, of course, you, like I said, you are based down in the Four Far area. Indeed, indeed. And you, I believe, commute back and forth uh, to Aberdeen to work. This is correct. I frequently and daily enjoy the trials and tribulations of the A90, one of the nation's finest roads. Apart from this morning with some silly... Sp- Fucking sod of a truck driver decided to lock up all wheels right in front of me and nearly sent me into the fucking verge. Oh dear! Can I interject? Can I interject? Certainly. Milo's licking my dick. (laughs) What? Milo. Off. He's licking your toodle. (laughs) He's licking my toodle. Get him the fuck out of there, dog. He's loving it. Uh, Have you spilled some fucking whiskey in there, perhaps? (laughs) Sorry for far, Bob. There we do apologise. You were well, you were nearly in a near death experience, a near miss RTA. So oh shit, son! I it's nearly I nearly put a scratch into the side of my bloody tractor. Oh, oh a tractor! A tractor! Mm. <laughs> All right, my little <laughs> wrong place. Uh, so, <laughs> but you commute back and forth to from for far. What the fuck is an RTA? A road traffic, traffic. accident. Oh, okay. What the? F- <laughs> I know. I fucking drive. Do I? I am picked and placed. I'm a baron. <laughs> Okay. Okay, for fuck's sake. <laughs> so, uh, you come back and forth, you work, now do you work solely in Aberdeen just now? I am solely in the central of Aberdeen. Is that not a nightmare having to commute back and forth? Uh, not really. When you get the, the wage at the end of the month, you're quite happy with it. To that be would honest, just so. piss me the fuck. I'm bad enough driving from here to my work. My work's only like 10 minutes away. <laughs> and that pisses me off. Is that the hud up again? Uh, aye. You? It just, yeah. Because you're fine. See, in the mornings you go there, it's 10 minutes. In the evenings, it's like an hour because of the fucking traffic. Does that not bug you, though? You leaving Aberdeen and peak traffic and then having to wait forever to get out of the city. I bet you forget I'm driving the tractor. Everybody queues up behind me. 
Ah, I okay. lead the way. I am the leader of the gang, so to say. Listening to the Warzels all the way home. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, um, Lurch, now, uh, this stuff here is lovely. I'm going back to the alcohol again, because I do love alcohol. Who is that you're back on the on the fermenting uh, fermenting sauces, m- m- back in the fermenting process. Back to my trade, really. But because you have had more time, but then again, have you had more time to play with? Because you know no. you are you are now kind of flying solo, <coughs> work wise. You know, I mean, when do you find time for you? I, I don't know. You don't know. It's lo- you're lucky you caught me. Really? Yes, I'm not busy. Do you find now that you're because you're flying solo, and we won't go into reason why reasons why, even though we'd love to. Is not not today anyway. Not today, certainly, or not for a while till maybe litigation goes past. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> there's recorded delivery letters not arriving. So yeah. Hello, Mister Postman. <laughs> hi, hi, the man. You hi. again. Yeah. <laughs> but you do seem you do seem far more relaxed. You do seem far more uh, chilled out. You seem more yourself. I feel like now I'm working for myself again uh, instead of keeping somebody. Yeah. Because before it felt like I was working for a life that I was never sort of getting a chance to live or going to get to live. Yes. Now I'm working for me. Yes. I'm the best boss ever. Because essentially, I mean, you have had uh, employees before that <laughs> you didn't really need to have working there, that you were paying a wage. A good wage. A good wage as well for a job that Plus extras. really you could do. Your, I mean, you've proven you can do yourself. Exactly. This last few weeks you've been, you know, paranoid. On, and if anything, it's far more well stocked. Thank you. So you feel better about the whole thing, though. I do. Yeah, it's it's a difficult. It was a difficult sort of process. Yes, difficult sort of moving on, merging kind of fucking departments into me and uh, getting rid of cunts and <laughs> yeah, allegedly. Because <laughs> of course, I mean, despite whatever's been going on in your private life, work-wise, certainly this has always been a stressful period for you. Oh, it's just stress everywhere. Ah, uh-huh. well, like here's an example, right? Never a quiet moment in the Baron's life. No, God, no. Yesterday. It's only yesterday. Uh, Brady Bob. It's only yesterday. <laughs> yesterday, <laughs> you say? Yesterday. I, I either Brady. I either Brady money. <laughs> okay. The Brady Bob. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. So, yesterday, I get home, and the fucking hoose, the, the wind that is blowing through the house is unreal. So right. Like, ho, ho. Oh. A window is open. You've been burgled. I thought, well... The way the cop was acting, Out. you would think. Oh. But no. The windows that I've got, see how your window opens in the way? Yes. From the sort of bottom to the top? Yes. Mine's open like a door out the way for some reason. Out the way? Pretty shit. Ah, okay. And if the wind catches it, it fucking knocks the window right open. Right. So, sausage breath had had a stonking shit and needed to purge <laughs> the smell. Oh, no. So, the bathroom window was wide open. Okay. So, I come in. All the fucking windows are open. Shit's rattling about like blinds and the cat's freaking out, growling. Right. Like a fucking possessed demon. Okay. And the kitchen door is closed. Right. But the cat is running up to the door, freaking out. Oh. So, what the fuck is wrong with the cat? It's like running up there going, oh, oh, and then running away. And so you're back. thinking someone's in there, possibly. I went and got my security sledgehammer. Excellent. A security yeah. sledgehammer. You can never be too sure. But, but, okay, I'm not going <laughs> to pick holes in your home defense system here. However... Uh, if you're, I mean, you are in a flat, like yes. like, like like we are here in fucking DHB Towers. Contained. Contained space. Now, if you're going to be involved in home defence, a sledgehammer doesn't give you much chance or room to swing with. Oh, Triple H manages. Would you know? But, but in, in a, up, in a up, fucking it, c- council hallway? Oh, I'll fuck shit up. Okay. Right, so <laughs> oh, you yeah. Can, you there, get the... there with just socks on and my birthday suit and a sledgehammer. You're going to shit yourself. <laughs> right. But you had to gimp. <laughs> <laughs> So you've got you've grabbed the security sledgehammer. Security sledgehammer. I opened the door and just sort of stormed into the kitchen, quite like puffed out chesty. Yes, manly. Hauled with two L's. Okay. Always up. Oh, it's happening again. Dogs freaking it. So into the kitchen. Here are two seagulls sat on top of the cooker having a conversation. Eh. So I maybe went back out. Okay. Shocked as fuck. Right. How the fuck did they get in there? Okay. Why have they closed the door? Right. I've got a pan of mint sitting beside them. <laughs> My supper. So right. I'm thinking, oh, for fuck's sake. So, so <laughs> in, into the, the west wing of the house. Oh, right, okay. And I had to buy it into the, the laundry the laundry room. Oh, right. I had to get the best eider down sheet I had. <laughs> okay. So I'm thinking, I'll oh, catch the This fucker. is a magical tale. Oh, no, I'm thinking, oh, well, I've got heaps of them. I've got like a whole oh, fucking iPod. Okay, book. right. But memory low. Oh, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, 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 Taylor, I'm getting scared. <laughs> 
<laughs> Just for those folks who can't hear, sorry to cut your story there. No. But from the, from through the house, we can hear dogs snarling and growling. Either either we've got an intruder or there's seagulls in the kitchen. <laughs> one of the two. Oh. So so I grabbed the best eider down sheet that I had. Okay. I think I'll go in, get the fuckers into the quilt, maybe throw them in the bin room. Okay. Right, or okay. maybe release them. Why, why would you throw them in the bin room? Seagulls are guns. Oh, they really are cunts. Yeah. They're noisy bastards. Yes. So I went in, and the both I went. I gave him the look. Oh. Uh, oh, okay. And I walked towards him, and one of the seagulls said, Oh, what's up? What's up? <laughs> no! Bad touch! Freaking out. Like, oh, no. And this one started freaking out. The other one started freaking out. They're crashing into shit. They're There's melting. There's shit everywhere. There's flour going everywhere. There's Fucking banana peels. Your mints. Oh, I'll get to that in a oh, second. Oh, no! So. I managed to open the kitchen window uh-huh. amongst a hail of fucking seagull shit. Right. Out they went. One of them, <laughs> he smacked into the fucking window. Oh, <laughs> okay. Wrong window. So, seagulls are going, feathers are boy. There's a bit of shit on the cooker. Oh. I looked in the cooker. There's a bit of shit in my mints. There's no ah. shit in your mints. I could only eat half of it. Oh, no. I had to throw half of oh, it away. No, that's a worry with the Fucking hell. horrible. <laughs> So oh, she's been told, put on the extractor for hand. I thought it was kept to be using Brady's. <laughs> Brady Bobby. Brady Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if she's a stonking shit for now on, Febreze extractor for hand. If it melts <laughs> extractor for hand, well, just be careful. Yes, exactly. Seagulls may enter. Fucking oh. seagulls bastards. So that's just a typical... That's yesterday. Did I ever tell you about the uh, back in the door working days as well? Speaking about seagulls. There was a guy called Greg who we knew who was like a fucking racing snake, this guy. You know, he could go from not to 60 in a heartbeat. He was a fast little bastard. And one of the only guys who we knew who, who could catch seagulls. <laughs> and he'd quite happily go and grab one before it took off and look what I've got and then release it. But then we said, can we use your talents to good use here? As if you grab a seagull, we put it in the boot of this dude's new car. <laughs> one of our colleagues, brand new, brand new Renault Clio. Oh, it's his pride and joy. It's frequently polished. It's buffed. It's cleaned. Oh, he left the boot open. Seagull and slam. So, of course, the seagulls. Seagulls don't, don't like confined spaces. No, seagulls don't like people. No, not at all. And 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 generally, when seagulls get frightened or, or angry, they shit everywhere. Uh, yeah, don't I know? Don't you know? Exactly? Did they shit in his mints as well? No, they didn't shit in his mints. However, comes back to the car. And of course, the car's the car's fucking shaking with a furious seagull knocking fuck out of itself in the back of the car. Turns out that when he released the boot, this thing flew out and started attacking his face. <laughs> Inside the car, the boot's all fucking torn apart, oh. beak marks everywhere, and shite everywhere. And do you know how hard it is to get fucking sea- seagulls shite a fucking upholstery? It sticks to your teeth, I know that. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Ah! Oh, eyes up. <laughs> so, apart from like mincy, shitty fucking uh, uh, food and seagull invasions in your home. Well, speaking of wrecking shit, I wrecked my shop. Did you? Oh, uh, well, well so I heard. Something we can't speak about, but I wrecked yeah. my shop. But I believe there was a. Okay, I'm going to be super vague here. <laughs> and those of you out there can make your own conclusions that there may have been a, a exchange of words with a random person. A random, but oh, ran, he's random now. He's random. random to me now. Yes, who um, who went completely too far with things and stuff. You may have, in a rage, destroyed half the shop. In a pent up three year worth of shit. First, I'm not a violent person. God no. As you can tell by my humor story, you're a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> exactly. I prefer a laugh. I like how you say you're not violent, yet you've got a fucking security sledgehammer. Well, here, I just, you, you've got to look apart, though, again. Oh, good point, yes. guard down. Good point, sir. Seagulls I, I shit in your mints. Oh, I hate that happens. Oh, fuck. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I may have wrecked my shop. Right. Just out of pure rage. It's, uh, oh, it was fucked up. Like, words were said, and just anger started coming out my hands. Oh. It, it just, oh, oh, fucking, I went, Hulk. Like so you basically you, shit. You, you went berserker mode. Oh, fucking nuts! Because it was just the point where fuck you, and it started like pacing. You start swearing, and you start fucking the arms start going. You start hitting shit. It starts feeling good to you. Yeah. So you just start fucking stuff up and pinching us. I go, I'll come back in ten minutes. So, so essentially, your shop's still open, though. Shop's still open. People are walking past. I'm going fucking berserk. And you're going on a fucking rampage. Oh, I'm just fucking pent up, telling somebody like, uh, yeah, fucking you can collect your cards. Uh, allegedly, allegedly, yeah, allegedly. Yeah, yeah. smashing the fuck. Out of stuff. I took the bin. I smashed the bin to fucking shreds. It was in bits. Holy fuck! There was a fire extinguisher on the wall that I've never used. I uh-huh. grabbed onto that thing. I 
fucking hung for it. Swung for the thing, it ripped off. I fucking threw it on the flare. Oh, smash! I booted it and it fucking exploded a bit. Okay. I'm not on my toe. Oh, that's another story in a oh. second. <laughs> okay, right. Smash the fucking bejesus at the shop. A hole. I punch fucking holes in my pie cabinet. Brady's are fucked, Bob. Oh, Brady's are fucked. Bra- Bob. Brady's are warm, Bob. Bob's looking distraught. Bob, but Brady's are warm. As warm as his heat with a hat on. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> as warm as me with this lovely DHB hoodie. Yeah, it's all lovely. So, I pu- oh, fucking smashing stuff up. Um, the pie cabinet doesn't close properly now. <laughs> oh, no. Fire extinguisher doesn't work anymore. The I, bin. I have to ask, when you go on this on this wrecking rampage, I mean, it's bad enough. I mean, I've never been one for destroying my own home or my own things. I was going to, this was to stop me from destroying someone. Yeah, but but then is, do you not, in the midst of your fury, stop and think, I'm wrecking my fucking business here? No. No. Because I could buy You're it all again. So g- <laughs> okay. I could pay for it now. Right, okay. Like, Taylor, I could buy his place and wreck it. <laughs> Don't, don't tempt me. He don't has twice already, folks. He has before in the past. It shit's all brand new. I so have a check in my back pocket right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> we, will talk, we will talk turkey. I won't piss you off. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, you flipped out, you've raged out, you've wrecked the whole fucking place. Uh, it wasn't so much like I had to close the shop and get builders in. It was just, I wrecked things. Yeah. More things than stuff. I More cosmetic things than anything else. Like, f- fuck a fire extinguisher. I fucking 10 pound top and hate me plastic bin. Yeah. No, right me too. <laughs> totally <laughs> fucked that thing. I forgot I wasn't wearing my fucking PPE. Ah. Uh, Proper PPE. Oh, fucked up wearing oh, trainers. Oh, I see it's your own fault then. I know, it's my own fault. I don't blame but myself, but it felt good. Ah. Uh, just to get this fucking rage out of my system. And I felt, I've been smiling to customers. Even well, the shit, mind you, I've had a go a couple of little all fucking moaning cunts that more oh, why's up? There's no stickers on your potted heat fucking tubs. Fuck off. <laughs> I, 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 I literally said that to an old wife and you would have just seen the look on her face. Have you ever told an old lady to fuck off before? No, not that good. Oh, they, they just, it melts their brain. I have been told to fuck off by old, by old <laughs> ladies before, but I've never told one to fuck off. Oh, no, she was moaning because there was, it was just like, your life is at the point where the only thing you can moan... You, you can't even say hello to me when you come in. Uh, but the the, mo- the the most important thing in your life just now is moaning at me because there's no stickers on a potted head. Right. Fuck off. Oh. She hasn't been back. I was going to say... She did ask to speak to the manager and, and or owner, and I said, you're fucking speaking to them. Oh. Fuck <laughs> off. Because she, oh, she comes in, she pisses and moans about everything. I, I know she, She's related to someone I used to work with who I don't like. Right. He's a cunt. Oh, okay. His wifey, she come in, she moans about the price, I think. Like, she goes, how much is this onion? I goes, it's eight pence. Oh, what's up? Eight pence for an onion. Oh, go, fuck off. <sighs> See, I've learned to sort of mellow out and relax and tell people to fuck off. Yes. And I feel good about it. So Instead even... Of taking shit. Even as a business owner, if somebody comes in and acts like cunt, you say, just fuck off. If they're spe- if they're going to be potentially spending 150, they right. can fuck off. Okay. If they're going to potentially be spending 20 pounds, I'll humour them. If they're going to spend 100 pounds... <laughs> They can Call say me your they bitch. Want. Yeah, yeah, I'm exactly. your bitch. So, okay. No, but oh, it felt good just to get all that rage and anger out. And like I say, I've been smiling to people. Yeah. yeah I've been happy. You do, I mean, again, uh, not to beat the same drum again, though, but I've certainly noticed when I've come into your shop, because in the past, you could tell when you come into your shop, there was days, and it was the majority of days you would come in to see you, you would be looking pretty miserable. You yeah. would be pretty down, and you would come in and speak to you for five minutes and realise that you're a bit too stressed for chat, for idle banter. Mm-hmm. So you'd take, get your stuff and fuck off, you know. You'd pay your 60 pounds discount, and away you'd go, you see. <laughs> that was magical. However, now, though, you go in and you're you're chirpy, you're doing things, you're, you seem more alive. You're showing more, you shit. You're sh- exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's peanut. No, it's peanut. It's... Uh, for for Bobby, <laughs> Brady Bobby, sitting, <laughs> sitting all happy, looking at more best. So so yeah, so things are on the on the up and up basically. Pretty much. Have you had much? Um, I mean, obviously you can't say much, but have you had much fallout since the uh, parting of ways with unnamed customer, employee, uh, friend of the family? A little bit. Vic, you have a little bit. A little bit, but I'm expecting more. Ah, uh-huh, okay. I'm expecting a, this is the calm. Right. I'm expecting a lot of shit. So you're currently in the eye of the storm right now? Pretty much, but uh, I've got I've got plans. Have you prepared, well, I was going to ask, have you created a battle chest for self-defense? The battle chest, well, my battle chest has been sort of opened and has been used. Oh, really? 50% of my battle chest has been used. Oh, shit. Son. So I think that's, either I'm not hearing shit now because of the battle chest or... I'm, oh. in, I'm in the eye of the storm. Oh, so you have, you already, um, like, basically unleashed the first strike, if you Don't will. fuck. The Baron. 
Oh. <laughs> Simple as. Oh, you sake. take it too far, no matter who you are, you pay. Can you give us even a kind of vague example of <laughs> what what kind of things a bar a, a bar I've would a, do? Well, I've got a film review. I like I, I watched a film not long ago. Oh, lovely. Well, okay. maybe towards the end of the show when I'm a bit more half cut uh, uh -huh. <laughs> I'll maybe tell you about the plot of this film that I watched oh right okay it was like a drama oh excellent that sounds good to me perfect Clint Eastwood was the younger one okay right and like ah. some fucking broken doing all fucking zip faced cunt <laughs> was, the, uh, was it okay no, it was pretty good perfect oh. I, I do love a good film by the way well, we'll do that then okay that sounds good can to I me can I tell you if I did my to toe though uh, yes uh, by all means you can kicking a fire extinguisher with trainers on oh yes don't recommend it have you busted your toe yeah Oh, like as in like busted bone or just kind of as in it like staved? It, 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 it as in it's fucked up. It's like ingrowing in now and shit. It's ingrowing now. Oh, I like skin's full nor the fucking nail and oh. the nails are kind of ingrowing the or, the, like, or the whole toe is going to double back and is now in uh, oh, the vagina. Uh, fuck no, something like that. Right. Pretty much the whole toe is going to fuck this shit. Yeah, for fuck's Safety sake. Safety blanket over the nail. So oh, <laughs> pus and blood and shit. Oh why? Have you seen a fucking GP about this? Where am I finding the time, Taylor? But, but well, listen, you're. See, you're being you? a barman, uh -huh. being a butcher, yes, you're kind of a doctor. Right. <laughs> I love that silence there. It, it, Technically, I could be a doctor. It took me a second to think about it. I mean, I know, I know you do know how, do know how to cut things up. That's look, fine. Look at Jack the Ripper. Case of Jack the Ripper. They were arresting butchers because they thought it was butchers. Oh. But it was a Queen's doctor. But th do they know that for sure, though? Well, I watched a film with Johnny Depp. It must be <laughs> Right, okay. It must be true. You know, one does a book with fingers for fucking scissors. And shit. I was nearly I was nearly Edward Scissorhands tonight. Were you really? I, I've got special effects kit as well. Well, I was going to say, I mean, the face paints are getting more and more extravagant because this one currently you have on, it's not just your basic Spider-Man, because it is fantastic. We oh, lost, thank you. There's, there's a bit of shading in there. There's a tint. I mean, mean uh, Brady Bobby. Hello, Brady Bobby. How you doing, yeah, Brady Bobby? Know, yeah. um, I mean, you can confirm by looking at the man's face. There's a there's a highlight tint. There's different shades of red to the the fucking spider bit faces. What it, do you think? It is literally like sitting next to Spider Man. Uh, it is. Except I'm on a chair, not in the ceiling. And you've got a massive head. Fuck it's you. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so um so yeah, two toe. Because of course, I mean butchers. That's a good point actually. So if if for example, people that we didn't like suddenly came to a fatal end and had to be hidden away somewhere could you hypothetically hide someone away not at all no no i would never engage in such illicit acts you would you would not have the knowledge or not or even facility. for not even for 350 pound per body <laughs> plus fat and handling <laughs> right, okay. and the vacuum bags no 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 not at all not at right all. Okay, I, I'm, I'm offended you would even ask me i'm not even asking i'm only i'm asking for purely conjecture wise Hypothetically, not even oh, for three hundred and fifty pound. Right, okay. Remember I'll that. take a note of that. Where's my pen? Oh, hold, hold on, I've got a card. Okay. <laughs> well, gentlemen, this week I have done pretty much next to fuck all. And it's like, oh, you do have cards. Well, you've actually got cards. You've actually got fucking cards. Yeah. Oh, and you've even got a metal card case. Like that shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? You've changed. I'm a barman. Oh, you're a barman. What do you course, expect? Yes. You expect anything like So, my toe. Oh, your toe. My toe. <laughs> I was about to go to off there, but you fire away, sir. <laughs> You're in going totally up your vagina shit. So, okay. I busted it on a fire extinguisher. See, when I kicked the fire extinguisher, though, yes. the fire extinguisher went off, and I thought I was like Hulk. <laughs> I thought my <laughs> kick had fucked up a fire extinguisher. Right, okay. And I, th I felt ace. I felt great, and I smashed up some hair shit. But, um, it's like that scene in Avengers where the place is full of smoke, and Hulk comes crashing through a fucking screen. And it, yeah, okay. it pretty much was. Oh, oh I, was, I was shaking with rage. The, the shop was shaking with rage. And how was the... Uh, while you're in pain, shaking with rage, and the f shop was filling full of fucking, uh, you know, ex extinguisher smoke. Somebody was fucking running away. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, Somebody a who could through a hail of pastries. You. Oh yes, right. yes. Yeah, someone that could. Someone that could, could won't easily stab you if so they wanted to. But full of shit. With a screwdriver, probably. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's part of that film. Have you, you seen that film too? Oh, I haven't. No, but oh, I'll get that later on though. Nuts. It's crazy. So um, so my toe. The toe. <laughs> Is the toe healing well? Well, I, I got home, right, and I looked at it, and I thought, oh, fucking wise up. The, the After sock, you pulled out of your soggy vagina. The sock was red. Oh, I hate my socks red. Oh, I'm going, oh, no. What do you think of Brady Bob? Brady Bobby. Yeah, the oh, Brady. the Brady Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's me. It's he's, okay. He's in. He's, he's in. I've got he's absorbing. Him, got him. You've got him. You've put him on his back foot, Lurch. Oh, you're liking this shit. He's absorbing your story. Hello, hello. It's good to be back. It's good to be back. <laughs> okay. Oh. 
I took off the sock and I'm looking at it. Oh, fucking Jesus. It looked like a fucked up haggis. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's worrying. So, so I'm thinking I'll, I'll maybe duke it in the bath. Great choice. So I like, filled the bath a bit. I'll duke it. I'll duke it. And if my toe's hanging off, I'll get a duke in the bath. Rolled up the jean leg. There's sadly our clit's not here. Oh, our chief linguistic uh, interpretation <laughs> technician. Uh, so a duke in the bath would be what, sorry? A, a, a wee dip. A wee dip in the bath. A wee dip in the one bath. Ah. So fucking hell, that shit's thick. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Drinking Nutella. <laughs> okay, so. So, I thought I'll do get in the bath. And I just sat here on the phone looking at maybe naked boobies and shit like that. But I, I was just my one. I was I taking my mind judge off you, it. Sir. Exactly. It takes away exactly. from the pain. Exactly. So. I but you're ripping the heat clean off as well, just fucking thrashing it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, I thought that'll do. Give it a wipe up. It was fucking sore. Right. You know, like, it's not... If you if you can't see, it doesn't hurt. Uh, you, does it not? No, if that's you... That's nonsense. No, that's true for me. If you can't see it... It doesn't hurt. Well, you can get fucked, I've sir. I've cut myself, like, a hundred times now. Until I see it, I go, oh, oh, and then it starts hurting. I, I've had shits that have left my arse in tatters. When's it the... Uh, I, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't see, like, a white mouth frog. I can't see the bad boy, but I'm fucking sore. I quit like them. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no. Okay, well, no. It's just chocolate whiskey. So. Big Lord says you need to get a, get, get a decked. Oh, well, I give it a deck to a clue, Lord. Okay, right. Get okay. a wee decked. Right. And I patched it up and I thought maybe a bit of, a bit of talcum or something. Oh, on a wound. Well, fucking no, you shouldn't do that shit. No, you'll be talcum on a wound. So I had to give it another decked in the bath. <laughs> right. Because it was stinging like fuck. And I was holding it in the shower curtain and the towel got. So the so the toe's gone fusty and horrible and and, and shitty. Or not bleedy. then, not there. Has now. Just I, oh, I think the talcum powder. Johnson's might get a letter from the barman. Oh no, Johnson and Johnson, the fucking two bastards. Are yes, a letter for me. They fucked up my toe. <laughs> I might lose it. <laughs> so which toe is it? A big toe. Big toe. Oh, you're fucked. I know I'm fucked. That's because it. Because if you lose oh. that, your balance is all shit. Oh, I'm fucked. Well, it's they, fucking. If the balance is even more fucked now. I know. They, they do say. That thing's going hard. I know. <laughs> Your whiskey's going hard. <laughs> oh, my whiskey. Oh. <laughs> that too. It's, it's. They do say that if you lose it. I mean, we do have two nurses in the gentleman. And, and, and a doctor. <laughs> and a doctor. Doctor Lurch. A butcher. <laughs> who I'm sure can confirm that if you fucking lack, or if you if you lack a big toe, your balance goes all to shit. Well, by ball- all means, Lors or Dean, phone in and confirm this. But my balance went to shit. Your balance went to shit. Wait. Okay. A th- a I'm on the edge of my goddamn seat here. Saturday night. Okay. It was in pain. Right. And it was it was weeping like a bastard. Okay. My sock was like red with a bit of yellow. Oh so no. There was like pots and shit. Oh, you don't want a bit of yellow in there as well. Well, I thought no, I don't want shit. So I got a basin. <laughs> it was like a big cake basin. That's the only shit I fucking got. <laughs> right. Okay. And th- um, plus, I wanted to watch um, uh, True Detective. So. If you watch it, it, it's good. Okay. Watch it. I, I might do. So, I got my basin. I'm watching True Detective. Hot water. It's so hot to the point where I had to take my toe out. Oh. It's too hot. Right. They let it cool down. I was fanning it and shit. So, Andrew's salts. Andrew's salts. Andrew's salts. Like Are those Epsom not salts. the, like, liver salts? That's the fuckers. The ones for your liver. The ones that fizz when you mix it with water. For your liver. Is it for your liver? I'm sure it they're for your liver. It your guts. And by the way, it gives you a fucking good pulling out. <laughs> So why are you gonna use fucking? Uh, Apparently, it, it's good for for cuts, cleaning shit, and I don't. Know, it's salt, is it? I don't. But but it's salt in a wound. Well, I thought it's salt. It's fizzy. What the fuck it's is wrong with your face? That tr- I know what I'll do. His... I'll put fucking salty fucking stomach juice on my fucking toe. Well, I know that's now. Right. I shouldn't do it. Just like I know I shouldn't trim off my fucking hemorrhoid with nail clippers. <laughs> ah, okay. I learned the hard way. <laughs> right. Okay. So I duked to M. And it fizzed, and it felt kind of good. Okay. And it got like all this shit, dude. It fizzed at a while. It felt great, but my Christ. Oh. The fucking pain when you take it out. As soon as, like, the salt hits the air or something, nip like a cunt. Oh. So uh, the water would cool down. I thought, right, I better remove this. Now, sausage breath was sprawled out on the city, if okay. you like. And then um, I picked up the basin. I, and I, I, imagine, sorry, God, I imagine that sausage breath was sprawled in the city, much like, um, you know, her from Titanic. When you paint, me, paint me like one of your French girls, you know. Oh, the, I painted her like a French girl. <laughs> no, <laughs> oh no, oh. I don't even. I don't even, even hear with, with what. Uh, Brady Bob, smell it. Brady uh, Bob, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I smell kippers and shit. <laughs> so, uh, oh, so 
I thought, right, I'll pick up a basin. She was maybe having a bijou snoozette. Okay, okay. I picked up the basin. The basin of Epsom salts. Epsom, fushti, Epsom salt, posse te, oh. bleedy water. Oh, right, okay. Cold. Cold, okay. Lost my balance. You've nay horsed over her head. You went fucking mental. You didn't, did you? Oh my gosh. Oh, come on she now. She went mental for like, she woke up. The and pus filled ebbs and salt fucking butt basin of water. Yep. Have you ever seen like Kane and like fucking Jason sit up in The Undertaker? They just yes. sort of sit straight up. Yes. She kind of did that and wiped her face and then she went, what was that? And I said, it was my, my uh, foosty day water. Because <laughs> I was lying on the ground, scared. My first day tea water. And she went, you fucking, uh, you fucking asshole. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and she had to go be sick. Oh no. Oh, How much of the water did you spill over her? All of it. All of it. Oh no. Mostly on her face as well. Fusty tea water it in her face. was in her ear and that was making her sick because she knew it was in her ear. Oh no. She was freaking out in case she got like fucking AIDS in her ear or something. <laughs> I had fucking half a dose of the bar and some fucking mayonnaise it's like, you know. oh come on uh, you horrible bastard anyway anyway fuck's sake so apart from that the toes are covering well I imagine you're able to walk now you're fine you're, you're, you're one piece everything's good it's nay bad good good it might, <laughs> might require surgery so apart from of course apart from nearly losing a toe and apart from being a busy man well I say a busy man of course that during the trades uh, a quiet spell what else have you doing in your quiet time uh, I had to take Kevin to the vet Oh, Kevin, of course, is the v- cat. Kevin the cat. Kevin the cat. Remember, Kevin had episodes. Yes. He was nearly scared to death. Yeah, that's right, yes. I had to take him to the vet. Oh, no. He's still not doing well. He's not, oh, is he still getting his, his little he still freak have, He still has tremors. He had a night tremor. Oh, no. He had a really bad night tremor. He's still getting night terrors as he bites oh, me, Kevin. You no, know, like a cat or a dog will slide in and they go, ooh, ooh, when they're sleeping yeah, in the yeah. jungle. He'll do it to the point where, like, the other cat will get pissed off, walk up, punch him in the face, oh. and he'll freak the fuck out. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> off the bed, okay. freaking it, breathing heavily, the tongue's out because he's breathing so hard. <laughs> oh, uh, no, he starts, Kevin. He starts with the noise again. The, uh, uh. <laughs> he's doing that quite a lot, so okay. I had to take him to the vet. Uh, and say, look, man, this cat's even put down because I can't. Pretty no. much. Yeah. Uh, but if I, <laughs> vet says, no, no, cut it out, cut it out. No, no, the money. No, no, no the money. No, no, okay. no bitch, your money. Hi, pretty Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so sorry. So, yeah. So, uh, oh, see, so taking him in the car, in the basket, he was freaking out. Uh-huh. I had to put like a, I had to put my, my hoodie over his basket. Oh. And when I put him in the dark, he freaked out even more. Oh, no, poor Kev. Poor Kevin, I know. Oh. So we got him to the vet, and I was like, dogs in the vet. And I, oh, holy shit. Uh. This is going to fucking kill him. He's going to have a heart attack or a stroke. Right. Or both. Or he's going to shit in the box. Okay. Oh, no. So I thought I'll stand outside with him. But then the traffic going by, it's scaring him as well. Oh, no. Oh, so I said, look, listen, can I jump ahead? Because he's fucking freaking out. And she's Aye, he sounds a bit wrong, does he? I, I, I don't mean to, I don't mean to be cruel, right? I really don't mean to be cruel, but it does seem that Kevin's got a lot of issues. Oh, plenty of issues. And and, and I mean, obviously, you sp- I mean, you have in the past spent a lot of money on animals with issues. Look look at your rabbit episodes. I know. I mean, that rabbit with the fucking fisty <coughs> everything's that you spent like a million pounds trying to save three thousand pounds. Three thousand pounds. Three thousand to pounds. save a rabbit which should have been in a pie. <laughs> and and, and it probably so probably was eventually probably. So you've, I mean, how much have you spent so far on on Kevin? Oh, thirty quid. Oh, for fuck's oh, sake! I know. I said okay. I, oh, I, okay. I said to the doctor, look, I'm spending thirty pound on this little cunt. <laughs> okay. I don't even like him. I don't, I don't even like the sale doc. <laughs> right. Can okay. You, can you help me with my t- doc? <laughs> okay. So we went in and the doctor goes, okay, right. Oh, shh, chaos. Okay. And he put down the lights and he started going, Arr, Oh, Arr. no. I said, no, he doesn't like the dark. And I said, okay, it's okay, Kevin. Now you open the cage. You're, ah, ah. And started screaming and frightening. Oh, he's fucking thrashing about in the box. And he's going, oh, he's quite bad, is he? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's okay, Kevin. He closed the door. Right. So I'll just be back in a second. So he went out. I'm speaking to Kevin. Oh, Kevin, would you calm the fuck down? Stop bothering <laughs> me. I'm a fucking barman for Christ's sake. <laughs> All these people are looking at me. I'm going to fucking give you such a kick in for me. Up here, okay, I mean, you think for, a, a dog just looked at you. I'm going to fuck you right up. Here. Uh, uh. <laughs> the doctor came back with a straw. Right. Well, I thought it was a straw. Ple- oh, no. It was a blow dart. <laughs> oh, no, I did not. He went, okay, Kevin. <laughs> no, and then he, went, he did not fucking oh, blow dart your cat. He blow darted the fucking cat. You are shitting me. I thought, what, is he a fucking aboriginal? Do they still do this shit? Was he wearing fucking beads from his hair? <laughs> Didn't even play in his fucking lip. What oh, the fuck? It was fucked up. A I, blow dart. I thought that's near the blue job, is it? And he went, no, no. And he kind of came. Ah, ah. 
Ah! And let this big scream in the air. What if you catch him in the eye? No, he hit him in the ass. Oh no! He, like the leg meat to his ass, and he went, oh. Oh. oh no! Oh, and he had a lie and he went to sleep. Oh no! So he, he held him at the boxes. Right, he's quite fucked up. Uh-huh. I'll just check him. Finger up with Jacks, eh? And he cut. Oh. It was fucked up. He stuck his finger up his arse. And went, <laughs> he's sleeping right now. You dirty little fucking cunt. How old's Kevin? Three. Three. So, so he's a full size cat. Aye, oh, big. Aye. Oh, he fucking sits in you. Go, oh, Kevin, go oh, on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Okay, okay. Oh, he, oh, he tell you, he, he, he's caught my fucking mayonnaise bag before. Oh, has he? Holy shit! I get that problem with these dogs. I mean, you've seen Milo; he's a fat little bastard. And when he jumps on you and get, catches you in the old nappy sack, you know about it. What? <laughs> a few dance. times I've been doubled over by that little bastard. Oh, it's horrible, yeah. horrible. So he, he takes me, he checks him out. Well, he took bloods and shit like that. He's uh, like, "This is little tablets you're gonna have to give to him." How the fuck am I giving him tablets? He shit scared of everything. He says, "Well." He could crush it up in his food, said, but there's a little fat cow that bides with him. She'll eat it. Yep, yep. Um, mm, um, you'll just take to figure it out. Oh. Because he knows I'm a resourceful chap. Yes. So, I don't care. If ever I wanted a man on my zombie killing squad when the, the apocalypse comes, it's yourself. You shoot them in the head. <laughs> right, oh, thanks. Thanks very much. Don't get bit. Okay, right. <laughs> Job done, thank there you, you sir. I've been reading books. Bro, oh, have you? Okay. Oh, I've been reading zombie survival books. <laughs> right, okay. So, he says, right, here's cat volume. Oh. So, Kevin's on volleys. Okay, Kevin's on the volleys. He, he gave him a cat volume. So, he gave him one of these a day, and if he's really fucked up, give him two. So, he was kind of fucked up from the <laughs> So, I gave him three. <laughs> so, I found, right, what you do is you crush it up at the back of a spoon. Right? I see okay. this on a film, okay. Okay, what, the wire? <laughs> what the fuck? What's the wire? Did you cook it in some fucking tin foil, you horrible <laughs> bastard? Oh, I made it into blue valleys. What's the wire? Who are you, Steve? <laughs> no, I was the wire. <laughs> I was on an- so what I did is I crushed it up into powder. I licked my finger. Okay. Dabbed it Passed on the out. Dabbed, <laughs> dabbed, dabbed it on the volley and then I rubbed it on his tongue. Because oh, I'm a resourceful chap, you see. Resourceful chappy. So he took the volley. Is he, he was kind of like groggy for his fucking... His blow dart. His blow dart in the ass. Did he genuinely get a blow dart in the arse? <laughs> I don't... I went, where the fuck do you get a blow dart? He says, oh, it's sometimes we have to go out and we have to rescue like wild animals. In this day and age, <coughs> how are we teaching vets to use blow darts? Oh, he's a resourceful vet. That's for... Rid- he, well, he freaked out. His vet, when I knew the rabbit was ill, I went in and says, right... He was, was he wearing like 25 gold collars <laughs> and his neck was like a fucking three foot long by I mean, I'm only asking for fuck's sake. <laughs> Get to ask me about Jesus. What was <laughs> yes! There, right? so, the vet, though, he, he, he knows I'm resourceful as fuck because he kept giving me like um, penicillin for rabbits. I said, this shit's not working. I, right. went, I went to stuff called penis strep. It's okay. shit that they give to cows. Okay. He, How do you know about this? And he was so fucking chuffed because uh-huh. it was like, oh, I've got a customer that fucking knows what he's talking about. But by a chance, when when he came to you with the bill and said, look, I can give you the bill, or uh, or I have, a, I have an uncle in back home who, <laughs> if you give me your bank details, can transfer money <laughs> into your account and then take it back out, I can leave you like half the money. <laughs> Possibly. Okay, right. Possibly. Fucking I mean, I mean, hell. He's fucking hard. The money probably true. <laughs> fucking blow darts. Oh my God. What uh, the fuck? I did, I said, why have you got I've got visions of the strong bow with the two darts whamming in the fucking table. <laughs> whamming at Kevin's arse. Kevin's arse oh. getting fucking penetrated by darts. I said, well, he, he, I think he liked it. And a finger. No, he's, oh, he's a bit inclined. Up, like that, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I said, why the fuck have you got a blow dart? He says, oh, uh, sometimes we've to go out and get foxes that are like in somebody's back end they've trapped them. We can't put them our hands in there. They couldn't have rabies, you know. So you know. Oh, what? You learn how to use a blow dart. So, oh, fucking. I wouldn't mind That's that. That's fucking then. brilliant. I did ask him, could I get oh. the blow dart for giving him his volume? He said, No, you cannot. Listen, surely on eBay we can find blow darts and fucking and some kind of knockout chemical. Oh. Because my, how funny would it be if during a show we blow dart pink? <laughs> could I make a and this oh. fuck? Boom, shut the fuck up. You keep using that voice all the time. What's wrong with you, you sandal wearing cunt? Go tell my story, it's fucking funny for once, you fucking prick. Sorry, oh, sorry. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Wow. (laughs) Holy (coughs) shit, That voice, honest to fuck. See that show the second one used to do? Yes. You could make a profanicizer with him doing his fucking voice where he fucking speaks like fucking (laughs) that. And it would be the length of the fucking show. It was fucking awful. So what does he do? Well, oh, this fucking fu- oh, Shut the fuck up, you <laughs> stupid prick. Go up with something of it. Three pound! Oh, honestly. <laughs> fucking jerking. Oh. I can even hear the fucking ribs laughing next door because she knows too. So, 
Why is it? It annoyed me. Has it, so he's got a voice that goes through you. Oh, well, no. A voice just, that he does, if you will. It's it's when he's doing his voice, you know, like, speak now, and he'll go, and this fucking ever. Shh. <laughs> Shh. Honestly, go stop. Go please stop. I, see, I was going to fucking phone in last week and say, listen, because you were talking about, like, <laughs> He, he was like getting all egocentric because he was using a new mic and he was talking about like fucking signing posters and opening kiddies wards and fucking ARI and shit. Right? He, he like, he's all egotistical. He's got, oh yeah, I'm, I'm going to open a supermarket and it is fucking, oh shut the fuck up. So I was going to phone in and say, you've got big lores in chat I'm saying, totally agree with Lurch on this. It's so annoying me, does that? Thank you. That guy haven't noticed this. <laughs> you know, it's that fucking one. Right, so, so, <coughs> what does he just accentuate every fucking word or it's what? Like or how does it work? I haven't picked no, up on this. He like, he'll be spitting Clearly, normally. Rube's has because she's losing her Everybody shit. Everybody notices. Door. Everybody yeah. notices. So, I was going to phone in and say, look, because you were going on about like, oh, fucking, we're, we're big in oil and paper, but by the way, can you give us money? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, you're right. <laughs> so, by the way, uh, DCBM's not going to you. <laughs> So I was going to phone up and say, look, I will sponsor an episode. I will sponsor a £1,000 for an episode. <laughs> okay. If Pink can go the whole episode without going, and this fucking money, shut the fuck up! <laughs> but if he does it, he pays the £1,000. Holy fuck! So, cut volume. <laughs> Wait, no, let's just stay in this for a second, because it's gold. So you've got him doing this fucking, I, I will fucking tell you! This uh, uh, so you've got him doing that, you've got... And I was driving my van. And I got pulled over by this fucking stupid fucking shush! <laughs> oh. So you've got. More chocolate whiskey. So you yeah, like, honestly, it's fucking. This is upsetting me now. So so this fucking son of a bastard or cunt. Shit of a bastard. So hold on. So you've got Pink doing that, right? Uh huh. You've got, um, of course, now the, you, you pick up on these things. Oh, I pick so up on these things. You've got Pink doing that. You've, oh, got, you, you've got large <laughs> men are doing that, right? <laughs> you've got Chris Mark doing that, right? <coughs> what have you got Steve doing? More importantly, what have you got me doing? Oh, nothing yet. No, nothing it's only, yet. It's, it's just, but it's just the three things that you hear <laughs> all the fucking time. Men are just funny, Chris Mark's funny. Bench is fucking not fucking funny. Oh, shut the fuck I up. I thought it was only the eh. Oh, see, men are just, I never hear that. No. I, I just hear the <laughs> fucking voice. <laughs> oh. Listen, I'm going to turn to uh, Brady Bob. Hello, Brady Bob. The money. Oh, the Brady Bob, the money. Uh, I mean, can you. I mean, of course, you have listened to, from what I gather, nearly every show. You've gone through the back catalogue, you've gone through the newer shows. You're one of our, our favourite listeners. Yeah, I'm currently up to, I think, in the mid 60s, going through the bad catalogue. Holy plus shit. Reason, but I think I know what Lurch is planning here. <laughs> okay. So when you consider, so that's three. Of the five voices perfected. Right, oh. If you can get the other two in the bag, you buys your sure, you're out the door. A moral out? Exactly. Yeah, like, Holy oh, fuck. He knows, he knows. We'll lurch, we're five different characters. Oh, He's shit. looking at my fucking pod. Are you looking at He's his looking at notes? the Royal Domination pod. <laughs> so, it is hooky hooky. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh. So, so Brady Bob, have you heard any... I mean, obviously, you've gone back to the old stuff. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed... Uh, I mean, okay, we'll say pink here. Have you noticed pink now compared to back then? And I was pinned in this fucking container! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Oh, why is it you get paid a million pound to pay a container? I just love it. Love it. Love it. Have you noticed this by any chance? If Ranton was a business, he would be the best in the business. <laughs> Oh, that's the fuck. He's got a style of his own. Is I mean, you're, you're being very diplomatic, <laughs> Bob, there. I'm very impressed. Uh, I mean, but I mean, listen, are you forgetting what show you're on, sir? No, are I you know. forgetting what goddamn show you are? Yeah. You have to, I mean, feel Brady, free Brady, to Brady Bob, you're going to be on this show shortly. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> Take one of them, Bob. Lodge's cards. <laughs> <laughs> so feel free to steam in. I mean, you just... Because you're being very quiet, Bob. Even the chapman said, is Bob a little bit scared? He's a bit quiet there. You're sitting you know, next to me. <laughs> <laughs> and this thing. And that massive cock <laughs> in your hand. It's <laughs> not attached would to your body. It. That massive glad. cock's in Australia. Oh, the fucking Australia. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. He's in Australia, of course. Oh, here's another thing that bugs me. Okay. Guests, sorry. Presenters. Right. They don't listen back to the fucking shows they're not on. But, but then. Ah, uh, and that they're not on. 
That annoys me. But then, but then they don't have all the time to do that. Oh, shut the fuck up! They're not opening hospitals like they seem to think they I are. I don't listen to most back to most of the shows that we do. But you're on them. That's I'm why. On them. Okay, right. The fuckers that ain't on the bastards should be listening back. Right. Uh, it, common courtesy. It's just manners. But then it's it, manners. But then, but then the lurch is it really? Oh, because fuck. see, you have time because you know you are your own baron. You have your own fucking I am you know, mansion. You're the king. I am of the butchery. king of butchery. Exactly. You've got time to. Um. But the thing is, though, is that you don't mind having us swear in the background I'm in the shop shit. while folk are in buying their well, hamsters. I'm shanks. wrecking the fucking place. Well, you're fucking <laughs> trashing the fucking bags. <laughs> you don't mind folk hearing this stuff in the background. You, however. Uh, you know, so you get more of like a time to hear back these shows that maybe you're not on. It's a, it, it, they're what between ninety minutes to one hundred and twenty minutes. Two you're, hours. You're roughly. telling me that, or just over that, that the other presenter pals, right, can't listen back to this. <laughs> the other presenter pals can't listen back to the fucking goodness that is going on without. I don't listen back because you might be funnier than me. So shut the f- uh, fucking. Shush, there, okay. shush. There, there has been people in the past, and I'm not going to name no names, but there has been people in the past, and you know who I mean here as well, Lars Lewis, who, who have kind of clearly said that the show isn't funny without them, <laughs> that, that when they're not on, they won't listen because, you know, it's shit without them. This is, this is what they've told other people, and but, you're like, oh, come on, you know, it's. it's oh, just I'm not allowed back on. I was still getting fun. Anybody else? Must be named. <laughs> it's okay. So, <laughs> so now are you just being nice because because of course you you are currently in the strike range of the Sasquatch. Are you just being nice because so far I've not had any kind of imitations of my performance. Yours apart is, from being sausage tits and well, being that's it. You, you stuttery are. and and everything else <laughs> is you, I haven't seen any. I mean, of course you've imitated now Lurch, uh, Chris Mack. Um, you've imitated Pink now as well, of course. Maynard. I have Maynard. I mean, I have I've safely so far managed to escape the the onslaught. I must do a thing that pisses you off. No, because you're a mere sort of. I'm asking the listeners too in the chat room. Is there a thing that I do is voice wise? There's the other two. Well, I'll tell right. you what fucking pisses me off. The toodaloo fucking, like, a chick at pink does that. And I, uh, 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 oh, oh, what the fuck is that about? <laughs> uh, oh, it's never right. It's never right. Uh, three pound fucking uh, Shut the fuck up, would you? Honestly. <laughs> Holy yeah. shit. Whiskey, you're just, like whiskey. A, you're just on a completely attack pink mode here. <laughs> I told you. You, you, want, you, want, you want some more whiskey? Oh, oh, whiskey? Oh, okay, you sure? in, in there. In there. In there. Oh, okay. Here's me. Well, we're needing a fresh glass for you. We'll get a fresh glass <laughs> for you. This one's a bit dirty. A bit dirty, yes. Um, Rubes, could you by chance grab us a new glass <laughs> for lunch? <laughs> <laughs> Taylor, did I click your fingers Sick like that at your woman? Okay. How good? You shouldn't click your fingers How like that. very dear you, sir. Oh. Is she... Uh, the glass I'm sure I heard. I'm sure I heard the words "fuck off." <laughs> Good chance. Oh, fucking, fucking <laughs> off! Oh. So, so yeah, the two loo motherfuckers at the end bugs you. It bugs me. Does it? It's been going on for so long. I know, but I can't help it. <laughs> it's, it's stuck in my brain now. Somebody else fucking does it though. That's the thing. Oh, who else is it? <laughs> fucking, the hey boy. He does it. The oh. boy. <laughs> he does it. Oh no! It's like I, I I've changed the sign in the shop. Right. I've changed fucking the counter. I've changed the tray. I change my shit about uh, every year. Okay, stuff gets changed about. You refresh it. <laughs> you make it good. <laughs> but then, but then we have changed things since we started. You haven't changed that fucking intro music <laughs> yet. <laughs> it bonds the even together. <laughs> they broke up like seventeen years ago. I fucking get royalties. <laughs> oh, Taylor, I keep playing. I get royalties. <laughs> <laughs> I get like, I eye the queen. Oh, I eye the queen. Oh, that's perfect. Oh. <laughs> perfect. Thank you, queen. She's just passed through a large monster play butcher mug. It's very cold. Have a, have, a, have, a, have, a, have a draft of that. Here. <laughs> Pour yourselves out. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, uh, have you just thought come in here and just trash the fucking show? Listen, well, uh, I've said it's before. It's constructive criticism. Do, uh, it's been nearly a year. Do you know I've been on here for a year now, right? This is actually just past your year anniversary. A year and a week, right? A year and a week has been so, now, Bob. I never. Hello, Bobby. Hello, Bobby. Hello, the money. Hello, hello, the money. So it's like been a year since I've really had a chance to listen. I I don't, I don't listen to the shows that I've been on. Ah. I download them for the numbers though, but I don't listen to them merely because I know what happens. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's it's like oh, I've listened to some of the shows from before because again I've gone through the back catalog. You have as well. I've yeah. gone through about eight times. Have you really? Oh. We need to do FMLs again. Oh, we do, yeah. yeah. We do. I miss the FMLs. I, must <laughs> I miss the music. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but um, Do you remember the music at all? It's <laughs> this one here. Fuck my, my life. Fuck 
my life. Fuck my life. Fuck my life. <laughs> FML. I mean, no, we could change up music right now. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> this is me saying FML because, you know, you are tearing me apart here, sir. How dare you? Listen, let me defend myself quite briefly here, okay? The entry music I still use because it's still copyright free. I can use it. They've given me complete consent to use it. However, I have there asked. There might be a disgruntled bomb member, though. <laughs> there could be. I have no idea. I wrote fucking lyrics to that fucking thing. Well, that's a good point. Actually, I don't have it in writing that they, I'm allowed to use it, but they've said verbally I can use it. But. What I, I have asked before to the listeners, look, if anybody out there is musically inclined, could you come up with a new intro for the show? We'll have a wee contest. If you can, if you come up with a new intro for the show that we use, you will get a t-shirt. You will get a sexy Paul's Barnes Bounty. Oh, so you'll get a t-shirt and a Barnes Bounty. If it's shit, you will get a sexy Paul's <laughs> poop. Barnes poop. <laughs> okay, right. So that's a contest for you. Find us some, some good royalty-free music that we can use. For the, I mean, here's Sassy Geek saying she likes the Toodaloo motherfuckers. Toodaloo motherfuckers. Oh, yeah, I, mean, I don't know. That sticks in your, in your oh, gut. It, well, if you say Toodaloo, that's fine, <laughs> motherfuckers, but it's the fucking it's turkey. A- <laughs> it's that shit at the fucking end. It fucking ends me. Right, okay. Okay, okay. I'm getting angry. I, I may I modify. might start wrecking the fucking studio. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like, I've got one more day to fuck up. So what do you... Well, well, give me... <coughs> now that you're a podcast veteran, now you've been yeah. at this for over a year now. Oh, I'll, be, I'll be opening children's wings and horse balls. Oh, I oh know. I'm sorry. I'm too busy. I'm too busy. Painting containers. You can't do the show without me. <laughs> so I'm surprised you managed. I'm fucking dear you, sir. <laughs> so listen... Now that you're a podcast royalty and you and you're a regular fixture, you're part of the core team. I'm. You know what I am. What are you doing? A listener. That's how I started. I think that's what I'll be. Therefore, fucking change shit, or I'll buy the fucking place <laughs> and change it myself. <laughs> It's check, honestly, it's check is burning a hole in my ear. Dean from Australia, you better, you better, has just said to the chat room that in capital letters that we leave that fucking intro music alone. Oh, so there's different. I mean, there's a different viewpoint. Is it Star Wars and Clank? Do you know what I'm gonna do? Do you know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> is I'm gonna put up, uh, I'm gonna put up a, a poll on the Facebook chat group. So. Folks, if you're a member of the DSP, what's so funny about you, Bobby? It was just from going through the back catalogue. Did that not happen next door to your flat anyway? That there was a pole hanging up. Oh! <laughs> Get a horn! Well done, sir. Well done. Quiet for ten minutes and comes roaring back. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll put up a poll in the in the in the chat group on Facebook. DSP Radio Show chat. Look for that, folks, and join that as well. And we'll have the listeners decide whether see, no, to see, change the intro. <laughs> what it should be is leave the intro, change the intro, or let Baron buy the fucking show. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so, the, the, okay, wait, here's the plan, you see. Either we keep the intro temporarily the same, and the outro as well as it is. Because You changed the outro? Po- I preferred the original outro. What was the original one again? Airborne. Oh, so it was, yeah. It, it was ACDC, I should quite liked it. It was it was good, yeah, it was good. Could we have that one tonight? Um, I don't know, let's see. Um, we'll get it on the YouTube, so we'll I don't think, I probably could, yeah. yeah. We'll have that tonight. We might do tonight, that's good. Okay, so, um, the outro was, of course, the uh, the uh, Airborne track. The intro has been used because it's copyright free. <laughs> but we do need a new intro, so... I like who you're worried about copyright free from fucking, you know, fucking, fucking. Well, I've, I've learned <laughs> my lesson. I've learned my lesson. Okay. <laughs> you know, nasty letters from companies because it's giving me a lot of I tell you, you nearly got a copyright letter from the bottom. How come? Inappropriate use of sexy pals. Uh, how very dare you? Listen, th- this trademarked by the Baron. Baron, I have a. In fact, I've got a bone to pick with you, sir. <laughs> you have. Because it's come to a point now where this has become part of my natural language. Even the rubes has come in the house before from work and gone, hello, sexy balls. <laughs> you know, it just, it sticks in your head and you can't help yourself. There's people who've told me in the flesh and on Facebook saying, I can't stop saying sexy pals. Everyone I see, hello, I thought we're making a fucking sexy pals t-shirt because of you. <laughs> and just nonsense. You know, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe you started it, but we're fucking running with it. As long as it's used in moderation, as long as it doesn't become Like this, the horn. The fucking horn. Burst. The because horn. I broke this fucking piece of shit horn because some cunt was sitting here using it every five fucking minutes. Right. Ruined it. Wasn't even funny anymore. Oh. So you, so you broke the horn deliberately. Ruined the humour. And then we got a new horn bought by listener. I don't know, it's barely fucking <laughs> used. <laughs> it's, um, so, okay, right. Here's the plan. You and I will put heads together. 
right? <laughs> no, we need to get into it. I mean, our top heads, not our <laughs> family show, family not, show, not our cheesy heads. <laughs> and we will have a chat about maybe a new intro and maybe some new bits and bobs. And stuff. I think we should make it like fucking the biggest thing because we are the podcast fucking kings. We, we, I mean, we are the kings, the of, kings the of the podcast. Oh, the kings. Nobody can touch us. Nobody can touch us. <laughs> the podcast mafia, if you will. Exactly. exactly. With my money. Oh, I can see it there, of course, yes. <laughs> With my money and your fucking charisma. Oh, my charisma. We're going places. I've got charisma. <laughs> I've got <laughs> no after your job. I don't know where it's gone for, Baby Bob, but it's gone somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's between your sausage titties. Ah, hey. oh. I will fucking tell you. <laughs> Okay, listen. Um, oh, fucking boy. We've we've already discussed things the butcher and I, you see, and, I, and I'm going to cover it briefly here on the show. Is that we've talked about having a DHB barbecue blowout, you see, and, that, and the plan is now, Brady Bob, you're sitting there with your 3D specs, I'm looking shocked. <laughs> let me tell you, 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 you fucking mute fuck. Listen, let me tell you what the plan is here, sir. Is that probably on a Sunday, a Sunday afternoon? A sunny day, you know. We get Charles Wilson's asked me crack a bad boy open. No, <laughs> we <laughs> we Sunday afternoon one day is that we're gonna have a barbecue out of the butcher's shop. Mm-hmm. So it means that we'll be, but then can we though? Because you'll have every Ned room bike. What fits going on here, man? Can and and fucking. Don't point for my stuff, man. <laughs> <laughs> so we're thinking about doing a, a broadcast. A, a, an on the field broadcast on the field. from the butcher shop with a live feed with video being recorded as well, photographs, video, and of course, we'll invite listeners along. Now, as part of this barbecue blowout, there will be challenges there as well, I see, for not only for the hosts, but for the listeners too. Now, Lurch, can you give us some idea of what we thought about? The listeners have to pay a penance to get in. A penance? You ain't getting in just to stand around with your thumb up your ass laughing at. Certain jokes. Okay. You have to fucking contribute. Right, okay. Not with your money or your penis. Okay. But possibly with your soul. Well, well, because <laughs> there has been whisperings about the return of a certain burger. A burger that's gone down in legend in the Aberdeen butcher community. And if you look at our Facebook, uh, sorry, our YouTube YouTube channel, you'll see a video on there about uh, the famous Fury Burger. <laughs> now... <laughs> But th- this is the thing, though, right? The Fury Burger... Folks, if you get a chance to look at our YouTube account, youtube.com slash Bastards, there's a video in there called the Fury Burger. And this is a burger that you made that was quite possibly the hottest burger that you can probably get. It, then. Then. That was well, three years ago. Then. Now, let me clarify that back then, the video was bad enough, but after the video was finished... I was literally left lying on my bathroom floor, hugging my knees, thinking my insides were going to explode out my fucking chest, like a face hugger from fuck, no, like, a, like an alien from the <laughs> film Alien. It just, I was terrified. I was like, I'm going to die. I'd call my work and see ca- your brother, who worked at the same place as me, fucking furious with gave me, gave you hell because I had to call in sick, you know, and leave a, ma- a man short because I was in agony. I, th- I thought, I'm going to fucking die here. Now, that was the old burger, which. Which came sealed with fucking rubber gloves. Which didn't fit. Which didn't fit. I thought they fit beautifully. How dare you, sir? <laughs> but I do believe, Lurge, that you're planning a, a whole new, improved, more deadly burger. There is a chili on the go just now. It's the hottest chili in the world. It's called a Carolina Reaper chili. Oh, for fuck's sake. That, that sounds healthy. It sounds fucked up. A, a chili that's got the word Reaper in it. You know it's going to reap havoc in your arsehole. This burger before, the previous Fury Burger, was that bad. And Big Lore's here, and it's a good point, Jim, that she messaged me for like two days asking if I was still alive because I was that ill with it. Really that bad. That And even Volga made a remix video of the fucking <laughs> Fury Burger, <laughs> which right. was gold. You know, but but this new burger you're planning to make out is going to be even more violent, my can gather. It's, there's like uh, the Scoville unit, the Scoville scale. Yes. That's how chilies are measured in heat. Uh, they've got like a top 10 of the hottest chilies. The one that you ate three years ago is number 12. Fuck off. So the top 10, one at each. Are you shitting me? Number 12? It's number 12. No, it's fucked up. Oh, remember, because how, remember that... how we said it was like 15 million scovels? Yes. It wasn't. It wasn't. It was like fucking 500,000 scovels or something. <laughs> that was all. That was, was that all, all it was? That was all it was. Because, I mean, quite genuinely... Um, Eating the burger was bad enough. It destroyed my, my face was in ruins. I couldn't feel my tongue. My mouth was destroyed. My guts. 
Now, we discussed before that, the, that your intestine seems to kind of reject the chili and, and cramping itself. And my, gut, my whole chest and gut was cramping up. I couldn't move properly. I was ruined by it. And you're I got up with normal chilies. And you're wanting to make this stronger. Stronger. There's a couple of folk, co- there was like Neds come in last year, and I kind of brought the burger back just for the Neds. Right. Because I made them chili burgers, and they're going to like feed it to their kids or their dogs, and I'm going to get in trouble for shit like this. So I made a Dragon's Breath burger. Okay. Now the Dragon's Breath is the stir fry you can get. It's quite hot. Okay. But it's n- it wasn't even a patch in the burger that you ate. But still, oh. it's hot, and it fucks you up. Yes. They ate that, and I put in a ton of extra... Like chili flakes. Yes. That bulger was not hot enough, man. Oh. And the way he sort of said it, he pissed me off. Okay. So I was straight on eBay, bought the chilies that you'd had, bought the uh-huh. hottest chilies of them, but you know, it was like a Trinidad scorpion. Right. Bought a couple of them, and I put the whole fucking packet into one Can burger. <laughs> and he come back like four days I didn't see him for, and every day he would sort of swanter to the shop and back with staff he running about. And yeah. He, 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 his staff he runs about, but he's got his kid in the lead. Okay. Oh, okay. Figure that out. Wonderful. Yep. So <laughs> he would swan her back for about four days. I never saw him. Right. And I was freaking out. I guess I killed him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. It was fucked up. But uh, eventually he came in. He said, Oh, bugger, man. He's always said, Fuck Oh, goes, no. Oh, bugger, man. was pure spicy kid. <laughs> <laughs> I says, Well, you did ask. Oh, I'll get him this next time, Ken. <laughs> so, I mean, there was one guy who took on your challenge and from, came in your shop, of course, bold as brash. Bold as brass. Oh, yeah, I can do this fucking burger. Come in with his little kid. With his kid, yeah. And his mongoloid cousin. And, you know, scoff the burger, that was fine. And you had a certificate that was signed then saying, I've, I've you know... And si- he got a t-shirt as well. A disclaimer as well saying, you know, I've got a shirt to the house. I've still got be. your disclaimer. Have you? Oh, really? Your original okay. disclaimer. That this man was so ill, Bidey Bobby, was so know. ill that he had to go outside with his top off and sit on the ground drinking a fucking four pint of milk. Oh, no, it was fucked up, right? Sobbing. Yeah, it, on the uh, pavement. He was. This was his mongoloid cousin that did this, right? Right. His cousin looked a bit like Moneymaker Mike from okay. the Krispy oh. Kreme video. Oh, brilliant! Right, uh, sorry, Froggy Fresh. <laughs> I the Froggy Fresh. I, I'm, I, get, I'm getting windy pops. <laughs> Fucking whiskey. <laughs> sorry. So, um, he come in with his kid, and he was, oh, I'm going to his bugger man, Ken. I'm going, oh, very good. He bit into it, and he started bashing the table. Go on, come on! Oh, no. <laughs> well, he was eating it. He was like working himself up into a stupor, and his kid was crying. And I'm going fucking hell. And he ate the burger, and he was like gargling while he was eating it. I was about to say coking, but I said gargling. Okay. Because I'm trying to be more, prof- well, I enunciate a little better. Okay. Even though I've been drinking. Yes, it's yes. Fucking difficult. <laughs> <I'm thinking. laughs> so he went straight outside, horsed this burger up. I took his t-shirt back off. <laughs> <laughs> not the rules, not the rules, laddie. Rules, so like his mongoloid cousin thought, oh, I can do it quicker. Now this boy took 15 minutes. I've still got the video. Okay. It's going in. A new video that we're making. Yes, that yes. discussed. <laughs> a, a clip for this is going in. Uh, his mongoloid cousin decided, I'll do it, but I'll just scarf it down. Right. Burger, two minutes, buff gone. Oh. And he was studio gum. Yep. I he was fucked up. He wasn't speaking. He was all like happy and laughing and oh fuck I'm there big funny like you and he was fucking he looked like somebody just tell him, right, I'm going to shoot you. Oh and he went outside, he took off his top. That's right. He was rolling about, he was going oh! <laughs> <laughs> and he was rolling going, about top was in the gravel. It's just like nine o'clock on a Saturday morning. I thought fine and early. The customers then I come in until about half eleven, so it'll be fine. They'll be gone by then. But he's rolling about outside and he starts spewing up. And I'm looking at his spew going, what the fuck? That's near the colour of the burger. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like a, it looked like a korma. Oh, no. And then he started chucking up again. It went for like a korma or like a fucking Vindaloo Jalfrezi. It went like brown. Oh. And I'm thinking, oh, is this poops? He's fucking Is he up. bleeding internally? Why well, can I start panicking? Yeah. And I'm fucking sweating as well. I'm going, oh, no, I've killed these cunts. But they signed a disclaimer. I'm okay. <laughs> right. I'm okay. I've got their pound. Okay. It's okay. I've got, got their pound. I've got their pound. He who shall not be named drew me a fucking pound for the challenge uh, he did. I'm not surprised. Scummy and that bastard. too bugged me because, of course, he who shall not be named came in like a bold as brash. Oh, I can <coughs> totally do this. and, and I made normal burgers for us. We never ate them. Oh, really? Remember? Oh, I that's made right, yeah. Two little normal burgers for us while he ate the fucked up the one. Fury one, yeah. <laughs> so he did the Fury challenge and it, it ruined him, but nowhere near as bad as I was. I thought, you bastard. I, kept I was hoping you'd fucking suffer. <laughs> I thought he was fuck. You, I mean, you sent my message going. I oh, just didn't take him home. He's, he's, he's quite bad. Oh, he was bad, <laughs> but no one as bad as I was. You know, my, I mean, I, I was near death. He was like, eh, I'm not well. I was on the floor, cut my guts. 
Did you possibly have an arsehole like a Japanese flag? I was ruined. Oh, I had yeah. the bog roll in the fridge and everything, man. It was fucking, fucking terrible. Teeth marks in the bog roll. So you, of course, are making a brand new uh, Fury Burger. Yep. And with with new chilies. But, but, but it's no longer called the Fury. Oh, right. It's called the Venom Burger. The Venom Burger. Ah. Because. Inspired by the Venom makeup at all? or No, because it's going to have a scorpion on the top. <laughs> oh, no. Just oh, to add no. that bloke factor. Now, when you see a scorpion, are we talking like a scorpion decal or a proper fucking... A proper dried scorpion. Fuck Devenomized. Off. Okay. Lightly salted. <laughs> it <laughs> okay. makes all the difference. Okay, okay. Lightly salted placed in the top. Pretty Bobby. <laughs> yeah, the money. Yeah, the money. Because a lot of them... Like, remember, you get the Tilly Galladay outside your door. That's right, yes. Enough, and that's coming up again soon. Every year, the Tilly Galladay have the Fury Burgers. Okay. But it's like all oh, the Neds and the pu- the pilot dune. Yes. And I did I'm acting too hot, but this year I'm gonna fuck them up. Okay. And they're nice. getting dried scorpions. Oh please can I come and watch this? Oh I'll be there. Okay. I'll be there for you I, tell I can me go when. it's the best part. I can go now. Oh I can go to things. You can. I can go like a shit dune <laughs> yes, to, the, to the beach ballroom <laughs> and support thra- <laughs> fucking blammers and thrashers. Oh so uh, Venom Burger is what it's called now because it has a scorpion on the top and you used to eat the scorpion. Oh no. So it's gonna fuck people up. Uh, the scorpions annoy me though because I ordered like 10 tubes of scorpions it was like £15 a tube 6 scorpions in the tube yeah that arrived a former member of staff went fits this and shook them shook it into a fucking powder so oh I've got, no I've got powdered scorpions as well Uh huh. if you like a bit of that in your chips so the venom burgers are going to be the new the new Fury BL end all yeah okay so when we have discussed of course about having the DHB summer barbecue blowout and based at the Tilly Butcher shop how would you feel about making it a kind of uh, a, a more public event where we can, if we can, get somewhere a bit more open to, you know, uh, do a show? I mean, we could do a show at your place, which is all well and good, but I'm concerned about the the local scummers from the Deadlands here. Well, I figured we could maybe do like a Baron's Lock-In. A Baron's Lock-In? A Butcher Lock-In. How much space do you have, though? Because we'll have listeners who want to come along and see what happens. You uh, well, see. that's a problem. We'd have enough for us and maybe a few. A few, a select yeah. handful. And it would be fucking roasting. But exactly, exactly. But we've got air conditioning there. But then what if they want to leave? You've got you've got the door locked and the shutters down. Oh, the shutters will be up. Okay, the Doors right. will be locked. They know, don't mess with the barber. Oh, right, okay, okay. That fucker wrecks his shop. <laughs> <laughs> that fucker kicks fire extinguishers and breaks them. So so I'm I'm more than game for the for the summer barbecue blowout. But I do think though, I mean, I think I think I think we should have two events. Mm-hmm. We have a, a live show recorded and broadcast from the shop. I think uh, if we do that, we should gauge it, see how we do with a show outside of here. Okay, yes. Maybe just us. Okay. And then do the bigger one. Sounds like a good plan. We do that, and then we do a bigger show then, or we even do have, again, I, I keep saying about this whole idea for a gathering, it keeps falling through. Even the Martin show idea keeps falling through because everyone's away abroad. Steve's in France, Pink's in Australia, you believe it or You know, Maynard's off to fucking America, you know, it's, everyone's getting scattered to the winds. Speaking of Maynard. Oh, uh-huh. Go for him. Oh, oh well, well, actually, <laughs> actually, good point. <laughs> Sorry to go off track here, folks, but Maynard couldn't make tonight because he told me he was in a dinner. He offered dinner. Wow, wow, wow. Well, that's my thinking, Brady Bobby. Yeah, the money. Bra- the money. <laughs> is that I'm thinking that he's gone on a date. Yeah. Because if you, I mean, let's face it, if you, if you go for dinner, you're not going with your mum. You're not going with your mum. His no. mum's, mum's in Leeds, you know? <laughs> Oh, you, oh, mum! Dinner with your colleagues. You're like, nah, you know, work pals. You don't really do that, do you? Normally, I, yeah. I never go for meals. I mean, I go, I'll go, for, I'll meet guys for lunch, for example, pals on lunch, but never go for like an evening meal with pals. Candle, you know, candle on the table. You you want to go for a dinner with with a lady? Lady in a Trump pasta. Would it be inappropriate if we were to phone his mobile? Yes, and that's why we're going to do it. Oh, are we? <laughs> are we? I wouldn't do that. No, I'll, I can't I'll, do that. I'll pay for the phone call. I can't, I can't phone his mobile phone. <laughs> I'll pay that for the phone call. That would be cruel. <laughs> Listen, we can know because he will freak the fuck out. If we phone his mobile... Oh, what's happened? <laughs> Skype seems to have phoned for us. Oh, no. Brady Bobby. <laughs> Brady Bobby, what have you done? We invite you in for one show and you completely ruin the whole fucking thing. You horrible bastard. So, it turns out that Skype is currently phoning. Hello. I either made hard. <laughs> oh, lunch. Oh! <laughs> I bet he's on a date. I bet. I bet he's on a fucking date. I bet he was lying there, 
back in the city with his head back against oh, the wall. Oh, no, no. His oh. trousers around his ankles. Maybe somebody in between those trousers. And all of a sudden, he's cracking that bad boy open. <laughs> phone starts <laughs> ringing. Starts, no, I guarantee you right now he's sitting in the a fucking restaurant. from Minder starts blaring from his jacket <laughs> pocket. be so good for you. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm nearly there, Jonah. <laughs> Oh, dogs, even, <laughs> even they appreciate it. Listen, he's maybe at the door now. Let's try him again. Fuck it. Let's keep phoning them. Fuck him. <laughs> I'm gonna phone him again. I don't give a shit. Dogs freaking out of the house as well and everything. <laughs> Folks, I, I know this is I know this is not fun for you guys in the podcast world. Oh, no, it's fun for us, though. It's fun for us, though. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was there. Oh, come on. <laughs> maybe. I think he's answered. Uh, you know what, you phone in your lap at a table. Oh, no. Welcome to Orange Ice. Oh! I'm sorry, but the person you've called is not available. Please leave your message it was, it after the was. tone. When you've left your message, just hang up, or for more options, okay. press 1 at any time. Okay. I like the Maynard. I like the money. I like the money. Buddy Bobby, say hello. Right. Oh, young man, play uh, so, the music for me. So, <laughs> my, my, I like the money. We, we guessed that when you said you were at dinner... You're probably at dinner with a young lady. So we thought we'd phone and see how you're getting on. Is she a sexy pal? <laughs> Is she a sexy pal? Maynard, phone us back when you get this, you fuck of a boy. So we can crack a bad boy open. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye bye, you fuck of a man. I love that man. I love him. I do love him dearly. You know what else, you know, you know what else I love about Maynard? He's so secretive. That too. But also that he works, works with some wonderful folk. Oh. That he works with some people who who really make your day, you know. Of course, he has his marth and friends. He has his running friends, his his, his lady pals, you know. His dinner, also, his dinner date pals. His dinner date pals. But he also has um, a good pal who works in the storeroom, <laughs> who who we affectionately call Storm and Willie. Hi, hi, the Willie. Hi, hi, the Willie. Hi, hi, the Buddy Bobby. <laughs> so listen, uh, we, we, now we may have more audio. Now, of course, last week we played one clip that was very unedited because, you know, um, you know, I was busy, late from work, blah, 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 shit noise, shit noise, whatever else. Busy writing your book. Yeah, well, I have, I'll get that later on, actually, but, but, <laughs> don't laugh. <laughs> I'm not no, laughing. Don't laugh. <laughs> I have been, actually. You can ask the rooms. Listen, that we did have a second clip, but we didn't have time to kind of edit for the show, but I've got it sitting here now. And this one is, <laughs> this one is gold. Play. Now... <laughs> For some reason, I'm going to give you a little bit of a kind of precursor here. No. Is that for some reason Willie it refers to his penis as the 10k? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you want to run the 10k, or you want to finish off the 10k, or how it works. But you'll hear for your good self when I play this clip of Willie and Maynard. Can I have a five and a six K burst disc, please? Can you hear my big fucking ten K in your f- exploding in your mood? Very nice. Can you hear my ten K just fucking splashing down the back of your throat? How could you not love that? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> just splash it in the back of your throat. Oh, oh we've man. lost fucking Brady Bobby. Brady Bobby. Brady oh, Bobby. You know that if Maynard ever gets his sock, that's his little black bookie. <laughs> <laughs> fucking is. Look at this torment. Torment. <laughs> oh, 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 good oh, point. Lunch. <laughs> Just imagine <laughs> Willie smashing up his fucking store, <laughs> kicking a, kick a fax extinguisher. <laughs> we also have this. Fucking hell, Willie. He just getting worse. <laughs> he getting worse, man. He giggling. You driving me, dude? I'm not. Me not. I'm not. Because you're fucking filling my mind with perverted shit. Look at these girls you've got through the office. Maybe you keep telling me about your perverting. <laughs> perverting? <laughs> perverting? And it's fucking twisting my mind. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking you perverting. You me but you're perverting and it twists my mind. <laughs> you, you know, you may not up to some perverting. Right oh, there. fuck I. Brady, <laughs> Brady Bobby. Now, of course, you've been, you've been listening for a while now. How do you feel about Storm and Willie? <laughs> Figuratively or... Just the whole package, you know? He's unbelievable. I mean, how men are can actually go in there and keep as straight a face as he does. <laughs> Going in there with, with, you know, sincere, serious work shit. I know. 
It's wonderful. There's more. <laughs> I don't know what you mean, Willie. I don't know what you mean. I'll have some more returns, but I'll do it at the end. Do it on Monday. Aye. It might be Tuesday, possibly. No, no, Monday, because I'm not here. That's not really <laughs> <nice>. <laughs> You've got one in one, Reynald. Oh, Why are you getting sake. two feet? I'm getting all flustered, Willie. Did you think of getting day, day and K exploding in the <laughs> BD00500. BD00600. Yeah. And you're waiting two 109s. Yep, 109s. Loves a 109. I'm okay. getting waiting that fucking 101. <laughs> <laughs> what you thinking about getting day and K in your fucking exploding in your shit? You're not right in the heat, Richard. I love. See, this is what I love, Richard. Is that he thinks that Maynard is the one that's not right. It, it's wonderful. It fucking is. Going about. But you, you keep telling me they can do it and suck it. You will get blackfooted. Get blackfooted. We trying it this weekend. The wife gave it enough at two and last night. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you missed that, folks, <laughs> Me not said, Have you been giving it or getting a chow this weekend? Or oh, the wife gave it a fair chow in last night. <laughs> Do you know he's a screamer? I thought, I I thought it was foxes fucking in the garden or something. She was fucking squealing like a fucking biggie. <laughs> fucking, I thought it was seagulls or something. I was like, holy shit. Yes, be like that. Yes, be like that. If it is dear. What's he doing? Fuck all the time. He's looking up at the sky, looking for inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's be like that. What Ken, but he's, Ken, what he's doing? I have no idea. Fuck all. <laughs> That's what he's doing. I like Honestly. how Willie controls him. Oh, why? Uh, when Maynard says Buck, Willie controls it. He really <laughs> controls does. the room. It just, and then Willie kind of throws it back. I'm saying, oh, no, no, no. You're, <laughs> you're perverting me with your fucking talk and your weekends and your pervert, per- perverting. <laughs> I, just, I fucking love his shit. Mate, honestly, <coughs> thank God Maynard can go back to record because seemingly Willie's got a bit of a kind of. Uh, uh, a com- uh, I say a complex. He's got a bit no, of, like a, surely not. a celebrity kind of head him now because he knows that we hear the stuff. Is he opening children's wings in hospitals? <laughs> <laughs> Is he asking for fan mail? <laughs> Listen, Richard, would you like me to fucking sign this bit of metal for you? <laughs> <I> know, <exactly>. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking perverted yeah. bastard. Well, that was a very drawn out kind of <laughs> statement there. Was that a, a dig at anybody, perhaps? No, not at all. No, not at all. Not at all. <coughs> um, so, of course, I mean, you mentioned there about go off track entirely here about this fucking book. And do you know what? I wish I'd told nobody about this fucking book because it it just people keep harassing me, messaging me. When's it? When's it? When's it finished? When's it finished? I've got no idea when it's finished, but I have. Of course, I've been off work for the last week and a bit. And I have been writing like a fucking maniac. I have been throwing down like a thousand to two thousand words or more uh, per day. Is it going to be like Peter Kay's book where it'll just be like transcripts from the DHB? <laughs> Possibly could be. <laughs> but the, here's my problem though is I'm not sure how it's going to work out. Because what I'm doing is, and I, my, my good friend DFA, even you know, can confirm is that, is that I'm, I'm writing down stories of things that have happened in the past. Even one of which includes your brother, by the way, just so you know. No. Yes, it does. <laughs> Did you have a release? <laughs> <laughs> I've got consent, so I'm okay. <laughs> Is that, and it works out that when you when you finally get to read the book, there are some stories in there that are a bit fucking close to the bone. One, in fact, that was so bad, I had to get the rubes to read it and say, look, is that too far? You know, that when you read it, if I mention somebody by only their first name, you can assume that's a pseudonym. Because they don't want to be known for real, you know, for what they've done, you see. If I use their full name, then you know that that's the real person, you see. And I think there's only maybe one story with someone's full name in it. <laughs> you know, that's how bad it is. But what I'm doing currently is is just getting all the stories down in one go. And then later on, then I'll edit and get them all kind of in a format and laid out properly and stuff and, and blah, blah. But and I'm hoping, I'm hoping it works out. But the problem is now... It's because I've mentioned Britannica. it. Britannica. be the name of the volume. <laughs> That's not bad. The working title is knuckle, knuckle Dragger. You see, right? And... Fucking, and knuckle, fucking, knuckle, fucking shuffle. knuckle Shuffle. Fucking Knuckle Shuffle. 
<laughs> my ten k in the back of your throat. Is that the problem I've got? Is that because I've mentioned it so often to folks, and oh yeah, I'm doing this fucking book, and I'm writing down these stories and stuff, and and people keep now I write a lot of shit. You've seen yourselves, guys, on Facebook. I write, I, take, I get bored and I write shit, <laughs> and I keep my Facebook very vague. I don't I don't give out anything too personal. I try and I, I try if I can to be funny. So folk think I'm going to try and be funny in the book. I think you should rephrase, you keep it vague, because you don't vague book like Facebookers do. Ex- well, yes. Ex- like yourself, Lurch, you know, your posts on your shop page especially are hilarious. <laughs> because you tell <laughs> you tell stupid stories, you see. And that's what I think it should be about. Facebook <coughs> shouldn't be about, woe's me, fucking blah, blah, or can I get politics, a lift? Why Who's got shoes? Why so is certain up? things shouldn't be allowed on Facebook. Exactly, yes. Certain but people it, shouldn't be allowed on Facebook. You should be just, be just being, having, having a laugh. So I try and post things that are funny if I can. Life or is can serious adapt. enough as it is. Exactly. Yes. And that's the way I'm translating to the book. The book is basically a collection of stories that are daft, <laughs> that are funny, that might raise a smile. And I'm probably a good kind of three quarters of the way through it, you see. And I'm, I've not got... And I'm, I'm now off work for the next week and a half at least. I'm going to keep each day trying to aim to get at least a thousand words down per day. You see, that's, that's the plan. Have you got a good closer? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem, you see. And because it's my first my first try at it. It's going to be like a cliffhanger. I don't know. I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm does stuck, it, Lurch. Does it involve a toilet up north somewhere with a hole in it? That, is, yes. And, and possibly a toilet brush. That's in there as well, yes. <laughs> That's one of the stories. Well done. For How many sir. pages have you got so far? Uh, not words I've got, but not pages. Words? Yes. You I, don't I, get, like, I count page the page. words. Well, I mean, it counts the A4 pages you uh-huh. have, you know, but also counts the, I, I use the word count because I'm aiming for, I'm aiming for about 90,000 words. 90,000? Yes. We've really spoke, th- like, fucking double that tonight. <laughs> I know, exactly. And it's taking you how long? Well, 90,000 words. I will buy this fucking I book. I think. I mean, for anybody out there who knows more about books, <coughs> I know we have some listeners. There's a guy called Ian Davies who's a listener show. Great guy. He looks like fucking Gail Porter. He <laughs> might... <laughs> With or without hair. He might know better how many words these things you can cite, can, can, can contrive, you know. The, the Dean from Australia, DFA, he, he, he knows, he's my editor. He's been editing shit for me. He's been looking at things for me. And he knows. Well, he's I seen see. the book. He's seen about three stories, four stories so far. That's it. No. Oh. The rest have kept heading away because I'm scared as shit. <laughs> You know that I've written a couple. Well, there's nobody more <laughs> forthright <laughs> than the Baron. I know. <laughs> I've written a few that I think are funny, but I've written a few that I think is that going to pass muster? Have you put in some serious ones? Uh, no. Some tear jerkers. No. I think you should. I do. Well, I don't really have any good tear jerking stories. And I think the story. I think the book should, should remain light hearted. Because I'm, I'm a very light hearted fellow, Lurch. Don't I don't think, think it's should. fucking light about you. <laughs> 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 And you want the horn going. <laughs> How dare you, sir? Up was comedic timing, though. That was, yes, oh, yes. Oh, three pound. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, three pound again. <laughs> oh, oh wow. Do the voice again. <laughs> Do it again. Who do you think will be the person to be straight on the emails to Pink? You'll never guess what I'm just saying about you. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll be a woman. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> So yeah, that's my problem. It's fucking, it's just getting us done, and it's, and I should, I should have kept it quiet, and I'm, I'm stressing a bit now. But you it's know, something it's, good. You can't keep something quiet to yourself. Do you know what my thinking is? Right, my thinking is, is that I'm enjoying doing it. It's a hobby. It's fun. It's, um, it's good to just sit down and get words out on the computer screen. You see, that's fine. Is that if I do release it for the general population, and it's, it sucks and it fails, I'm not really that bothered because I can at least then walk away and say. I've made a book. No. You know, that I can then in old age say, I wrote this thing. It was shit. <laughs> and it got a million negative reviews on Amazon. But you know, it's a book. If you want to read it, it's propping up the kitchen table. <laughs> exactly. Three pounds! But what I'm going to do is, Sorry. is when it's done, I'll submit it for <clears throat> publishers to have a look at. But they'll generally, I'm assuming they'll hate it. Because it is just fucking nonsense. I might have to self-publish through Amazon Kindle, you know, the, the e- e-book format, which is fine, but, you know... You I, want I, a hard copy, though. I want a hard copy. I want a copy I can hold in my hand and say, I did this. You know, this is hard work Luke, here. it's my new book. <laughs> you just oh. have to look for it. <laughs> Free copy with a £20 pack. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that could be the problem there, though. So <laughs> every, every photo you put off, you know, like it's working, a paper shot, will just be like a, 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 a knuckle dragger in the corner. I know, exactly. 
a download link on the fucking sausage pack for knuckle dragger. <laughs> <laughs> Free download when you buy us pack. Ooh, I know, but but um, I mean, I'm hoping that I mean, I say I'm hoping this. Don't take us, don't take us for cement. But I'm hoping that I'm gonna have things. I'm gonna have the first draft completed. Fingers crossed by next month. And then it's see, all about the editing. See if you said Christmas time, I would have went, okay. Ah, next see, month next month I'm gonna I'm gonna hold it next month. Hold on though. That, that's twenty pounds for every day that passes you haven't done it. <laughs> but that's for the first draft, oh. you see. <laughs> then you've got the editing stage where you've got to put it all together and mix it all together. Take out the shit and take out the shit, put in new things that are better. Nine you know? I've got nine words, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I've written Sorry. 90 thousand I've got 10 left you know? A horrible bastard I am with chocolate whiskey in me What's wrong with I'm you I'm never drinking chocolate whiskey again You horrible fuck of a boy <laughs> So that's the, that's the idea That's the plan you see um, I struggle close. to get words out of my head on a computer though Do you? I struggle to type shit out like, But then I've, But see the thing is so I, I, You're one of the few folk that I, that I do like on Facebook Because when you put up a post Even your own page But primarily in your shop page you take time to make something, something, something daft, something that grabs your attention. Because I will take more time to sit and read your four or five paragraphs <laughs> than I will to read three lines of somebody passively aggressively calling someone a cunt on another post. You know that to me. Has anyone got a PS3 controller? <laughs> 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 Shit like that. Yes, exactly. See, yeah. I, that kind of stuff, though. It's I'll look at a photo, and it's normally something like the the top in that day or the day before. Right. Like. Last time was Coca Cola skirts and the thing with babe and spilling popcorn. <laughs> the day before, I fucking burnt popcorn, that's so it was right. fresh in my mind. And that's like a spur of the moment. You write a story; it's quick and easy. But see something that's in your brain yes. that you want to type. Can I get to it worth a fuck? But then, do you find though that you've had far more interactions from your funny stories because you're probably? I mean, again, going back to the whole kind of breaking the mold thing, you have broken the mold entirely for butchers in and around Scotland. Whereas, I mean, I'm sure Brady Bobby there can confirm that you've seen some of his posts, of course, on his page, that, that someone you don't see butchers doing. Butchers are historically, you know, very prim and proper, and we have we have royal fucking warrants, and we have, you know, blah, 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 and, and, are, and historically fucking protected as black puddings and shit like that. <laughs> Whereas you're like, wise up, fucking, <laughs> good in, come in here and buy a sausage, or I'll kill, I'll kill you. you know, that Stop moaning stuff. about my potted head, you <laughs> Exactly, yes. Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> If you're naked on an unpriced potted heed, then get the fuck <laughs> You know, band. exactly. But th- that's all the point, though, is you, you've taken the genre and flipped on its head, which, is, which f- from, what, from what I can tell, has done really well for you. It's really worked. It was so... See, for like... I've been a butcher for 10 years. Uh-huh. For 10 years, I've been trying to do that. I've uh-huh. never had like the sort of platform or a shop to do it from. Yes. It was always knocked back or, no, we're too serious for this or, oh, that's not what we're going to do. Uh-huh. You're just... You're, you're making a mockery of the of the trade of the you're business. Not for people like that kind of light hearted approach. Look at for example, you you made those cooking with large videos before as well, of course. I watched all them on Saturday. <laughs> I forgot how fucking funny they how were. How good they are now. Again, what what is your YouTube channel again? Uh, the Tilly Butcher. So YouTube.com slash the Tilly Butcher. Or the Large Monsters Tilly Butcher. It's one of the two. We'll link it on the show notes. And it's basically a collection, I don't seen these at all, a collection uh, of, of cooking videos that you've made <laughs> of basic recipes with me narrating and you making the video. And I think they're brilliant. I think they're great fun to make and great fun to watch as well, though. But again, even when, even when those came out, people said, what the fuck's going on here? You had competitors. We even put, we even parodied <laughs> one of your competitors you in one of the thing. videos. Yeah, yeah exactly. But then you've also noticed that your competitors in the spirit in Aberdeen have tried then com- copying your style. I've tried copying things you do. I've tried copying the kind of format that you lay out because they see how how popular your things are. They try to do the the humour in the posts. Ah, uh-huh. a lot of them. You you know it's men. It, it, butchers are predominantly men. Okay, not to be sexist. No, but um, they've got their own shop pages, and when they t- they'll try and do the humour and it won't work, or yes. they'll try and post. Slightly with the humour, but it comes off crosses them being a woman, right? Not uh, again. They honestly, s- s- sincerely, not to be sexist, but it's like fucking LOLs and smiley faces. Ah, and shit like yes, that. Right. I will. Oh, I will never. Fucking, copters and I will never do that shit. <laughs> no, e- everything. Uh, I, some folk think I'm gay on the Facebook page. Lurch, go. Speaking about LOLs, waffles. We have had we have had emails concerning your absinthe. Uh, absinthe. Absinthe. <laughs> I don't know, it's well, whiskey. Whiskey. Chocolate whiskey. Chocolate whiskey. Chocolate whiskey. Chocolate whiskey. Chocolate whiskey. Is your absence from the show. Oh. Two, two in particular I thought I'd read out for you. <laughs> uh, 
One comes from a guy called Stephen. The golf track again entirely. Uh, it's because not that's, like that's what we do here, you <laughs> see. We go off on tangents. As we have an email from a guy called Stephen Aiken. And he writes, Hey, Scott. Love his rowies. <laughs> Inside joke of the week, man. <laughs> hey. <clears throat> <clears throat> Stephen Aiken writes, Hey, Scott. Why the fuck has Lurch not been on for a while? Have you sacked him from the show? <laughs> why the fuck would you do that? He's one of your funniest guests. And the battle between him and you works really well. <laughs> if you've ditched him from the show, you're a stupid man. And you've only hurt yourself, Scott. Please get Lurch back on and put aside any differences for the good of the show, please. <laughs> now, now, Stephen. We I actually don't think, hate each other. Oh, I can't stand the boy. <laughs> this is the only time we ever talk. I only go to his shop and shut his letterbox. You know? Sledgehammer under, <laughs> sledge know. under the table. I can't stand him. I was so glad Brady Bob was here when I come in and someone speak to him. When he arrives for the show, Rubes grabs the door. <laughs> Let him in then, for fuck's sake. I either quite eh? I either quite eh? <laughs> <laughs> I the Brady Bob, eh? <laughs> so, so, but but on the flip side, we also have one from someone who calls themselves Gogs. I I the Gogs. G O G G Z. Gogs. We need some more beer here. Some more. Can't, can't run that beer, Brady Bob. Have a beer. Um, ha ha ha! People moaning of FB about no lurch. He has no loss. LOL. <laughs> He speaks and I can know what he's saying. Ha ha. Good riddance, butcher man. You are too much. <laughs> so, oh, thank you, Mr. Fucking. Oh, Brady Bobby the beer. I had the Brady Bobby beer. Bobby. Brady Bobby beer, Bobby. Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> because, of course, Bob, you come in with beer. Thank you, sir. I can have beers. Have, be- have a beer. Large you know, beer? I'll have a beer. I'll have a beer. Oh, I'll have- hey! I'll have a Brady Bobby beer. Brady Bobby beer. Eh? <laughs> hey, Bobby. Okay. Oh, so, I mean, Lord, how do you respond to the these comments about you know? I mean, we, we have. I mean, we have a lot of folk, more so than negative, more positive folks saying, <laughs> "What the fuck's happened to Lurch? Are you glad to be back?" <laughs> I, I was really nervous about coming. Back. <laughs> Were you really? <laughs> oh, I, went, I was sitting home going, "Oh, what fucking funny! <laughs> oh, fucking so funny to say." Oh, <laughs> that's why I was late coming over. Uh huh. I mean, it could be funny. <laughs> Did you find? Um, and because I mean, I'm sure you as well thought. Of I mean, you've told me before you had folk in your shop saying, "When are you back on?" You know, what's going to happen, and when are we back the show and stuff. <laughs> Facebook and messages, Twitter messages, people in the shop. Somebody yeah. come in, stuck his <laughs> through the door, and says, "Oh, you're fucking hard fucking show." <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? It's <laughs> <laughs> fucking brilliant. <laughs> Neighbor, the sexy Paul. It's Paul. It's kind of it's a humbling. Humbling, you know. Ah, uh-huh, people really is. enjoy the pitch that you speak. I mean, it's humbling for you guys, but nobody ever likes me. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I don't get fucking messages saying Scott, thank God you're on the show. You, fu- you <laughs> fuckers. There was somebody during the show going, "Oh, when Steve back? I don't fucking know when Steve's back. He's in France. Fucking je ne peux plus le mon 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 le Oh, yeah, good point. Because yeah, when right. I'm away, of course, there's no show. Exactly. <laughs> That's a good point. I know what I'll do. I'll take a few weeks off, <laughs> right? And we'll bring in an experienced host. Take over the show, go. To, to, to cover me. Would that be... In what? I don't know. I Let's think, I think, right? We'll, we'll bring, should, a, we'll we'll bring a guest host. Wait, guest host. Right, okay. The host. Right, oh, dear. Here, here what are you is, doing? Right? What are you doing? Here's the host, right? Okay. Here's him here with glasses yeah, and the ball of clava. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the fuck it, the fuck it. I'll be it. Okay. I'll get up and walk out. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in good fun. But you're saying, though, it's quite humbling, though, folk would go out their way to contact you and say, look, dude, you can't go back to the show and stuff and blah, blah. I hope you're well. A lot of it was, I hope you're well. I hope everything's fine. It was. Yeah. <laughs> it's really cool. Because initially, when you were off, a lot of folk messaged me saying they thought you were off because of. Thought was dead. Who, yeah, thought, thought you were dead. Stopped. Thought you were dead, or off because of people who you were associated with in the past. Uh, and when we explain, like, well, no, it's not that. It's something else entirely that we can't talk about. They're like, okay, well, uh, please tell them that we're thinking about them. You see, so a lot of folk who were either way to say, tell Lurch we're thinking about him, and hopefully he's back soon, and, and we love him, and blah blah. So you've got a lot of people out there who think you're quite cool. It's really, it is really nice, and it's 
but I think it's what makes you want to do more. Yes. By your face. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Taking a dildo, speaking about stuff that you wouldn't <laughs> really, stories that you wouldn't really talk about. I think we should all sign the dildo. That's what I was thinking. I was checking to make sure it worked. Yeah. I was going to put Sexy Pal number one on it. And give it away as a prize. Uh, uh, oh, it. actually, no. We'll oh, keep it here. Oh. Keep it here, but I mean, actually, no good point. I was beat some deep fucking death. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> for, the, for the pounds. <laughs> So I mean, Brady Bobby, I love, I love, I love hey, Bobby. money. Uh, I love the money. Um, of course, you've you as a listener have noticed an absence of lurch. Absolutely. Are absolutely. you happy he's back? Oh, happy as a pig in shite. Pig in <laughs> shite, lurch. It's only because I'm next. I'm holding a cock. <laughs> God forbid we're serious on here. Lurch is a star. Lurch has, <laughs> has a star. Oh, no, holy fuck! Listen, just kick me in my fucking balls. We're going to start again with this flopping woe is me shit. Oh, oh, oh holy fuck! Oh, listeners hate me. <laughs> You sick, you bastard! I'm gonna go and line a bath of hot water and open an artery, you fucking <laughs> shit of a boy! Pretty Bobby! As I'm, I was saying. I invited you in as a friend. Who is me? A friend of the show. Well, you know, I'm gonna sign my card for you, Bob. But, you know, uh, I'm gonna Bobby, open a children's Brady ward. Bobby here plays in the Minecraft server as Creepy Bob. Creepy and Bobby. Creepy Bob likes to build, you know, lurch monster fucking. In fact, good point, you fucking bastard. Is that on on the on the Minecraft server? Well, of course we do we do play Minecraft. Is that you go on there and you build all these? In the last server, you built a lurch monster butcher shop. With, <laughs> he did. With a zombie by the kind of called somebody else. This new place is built a huge place. I'll put a photograph on the fucking on the sh- on the show notes <laughs> of a building that produces chicken cooked <laughs> called LFC. Largest fancy chicken. Largest fancy chicken. <laughs> right? There's no fucking Sasquatch's fucking fancy whiskey shops. No. Sasquatch's stuttering shop. Oh, no, get fucked. <laughs> so. So I call you out, sir. Bob, you fuck of a boy. How dare you? Bob, before you retort, I've signed this card for you. (laughs) Listen, I've known Bob for many moons. In Mm -hmm. fact, do you know what? It's quite funny, actually, because Bob and I first met. In fact, Bob, I'll get you a microphone here, because we, Mm -hmm. we first met many moons ago. We did. On a completely unrelated podcast and topic type thing, Mm -hmm. you see, you know? Is that we'd met, Bob, both Bob and I were both formerly... Big Tartan Army travellers stroke visitors. You know, we'd go to the Scotland Games. We'd meet up in, a, in local bars there as well. We knew each other through fr- through mutual friends. We weren't good pals, but often we'd say, oh, hello, how are you? You know, and, and catch Aye, aye, the Bobby. Exactly. Aye. And and back then, of course, Bob, that we were both much fatter. Mm. And people <laughs> people called us... A, <laughs> people called us the Twin Towers. <laughs> because we were both big fatty laddies. We are both in the... I mean, there's a full glass somewhere that I, I think you found recently. I, I was both somewhere. in Amsterdam oh, with our geez. Scotland tops on, chunky boys, big tits. <laughs> you know, towers. both twin towers, both in the way. And, but then we lost touch, though. We lost touch for a long time. We kind of chatted away. We met, met against on Facebook, uh, you know. But then tell us how you, find, how, how you find the show. The show, if I remember rightly... And sorry, you might need to start up that music again. Okay, I'm on it, I'm on it. <laughs> just it sets the scene so I'd, I'd, okay. I'd, I'd try the career change uh, was do you know what j- sorry do you know what I've got better music to set the scene this okay so if, if you want to carry on there and I'll step I'll step in with the tunes I wonder where this is going what, 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 what's that about <laughs> so I'd finished up at a job okay uh, maybe you didn't finish in the yeah. I fucking shit myself <laughs> 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 fucking fucking <laughs> fucking <laughs> Hey, you fucking cunt! <laughs> ah, I'm a fucking oil ring, I can't get fucking one! It's not just me, it knows this. No, I've just merely, I've just merely pointed you. I've, oh. just, I've merely pointed it and go, right in this. Let the touch sir. paper. I'm sorry, you carry on, sir. I'll give, I'll give you some better music in the background. There you go, wait, far away. Wait. <laughs> So anyway, okay, left the job, sitting in the house, oh, ha. <laughs> not doing that. Okay, so I'm um, looking for another job. And I'm feeling a bit shitty about myself. I thought okay. that job's not worked out great. I mean, some some Lying funny the to bath, to. you know, dry dry bath, wanking yourself, oh. fucking mad. Looking on the facial books and he, listen to my show, listen to the doghouse bastards. And I think oh. it was episode forty something. Okay, put it on. Had a great laugh. Remember what's happening you just afterwards? Saying, That's right. That's the biggest laugh I've had in a good in a good month or so. And that was that was really how, how I found the show. So you you you'd hit a low patch and thought, you know what? Show us look much better. Hey, I just met you! And this is crazy! But here's my number! So call me baby! <laughs> 
sorry, sorry. I don't know what you there. So, yeah. So, what, what, what show was it where you first played out and you just said, Maynard, take it away? And he knew the words. He knew all the words. <laughs> <laughs> Maynard's the whitest black man I know. <laughs> it's, it's wonderful. <laughs> so, yeah, so you came in, of course, at a low point, got involved with the show, and you've been listening ever since. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it wasn't exactly a, a woe is me moment. I wasn't posting on Facebook. No. You know, but. Elm um, shoes are. Oh. Yeah. Lefts do, 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 do lefts. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but yeah, st- <laughs> started listening at that point and got back in touch. That led me on to onto the YouTube. Discovered a few Minecraft videos. Discovered that you're not a big fan of the chickens on the Minecraft. You motherfuckers! Fucking chickens! Mm-hmm. Fucking chickens! Flop, you bastard! <laughs> <laughs> and it just really fitted from there. But back to my original point, I am going to make this point. Do it. Lurch is a star. Lurch is loved by the audience. He I'm is. He's I'm modest <laughs> with it. He is modest, modest with it. That's the point. You know, I'm right. not used. I am not used to all stuff like this. Uh, uh, it may be videos, that certain, certain, certain audio clips that you've heard uh, may prove that I'm not used to positive affections. You, you're not really, are you? No. You're not really. No. I'm the show dated. <laughs> <laughs> because even I've seen before, even the show. For example, we were in the, we, we we were in your shop the other day, and somebody came in who who the fan of the show. Who saw us both <laughs> and nearly shot their pants? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know? But Lurch, of course, like, oh, hi, hi, you're gonna, you're gonna quiet and subdued. A and professional Lurch there. Professional Lurch the exotic, of course, there, you see. But I've got to have a bit of professionalism about me. You, t- you tell I pensioners to fuck <laughs> off! <laughs> well, if you're gonna moan it, <laughs> if, you, if you're gonna fucking, if you're gonna fucking, fuck if you're gonna moan your fucking potted heed, then fair play to you. I need to know what the ingredients are in here. Well, it's face <laughs> and gravy. Okay, you want me to write that on the receipt? It's face and gravy. Oh, oh wonderful! It's called potted head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, give it a nice you shit it on me, right? You'll be bargaining up, like, veg for a customer. A customer will come in and go, oh, can I get a bag of tarties or can I get, like, some carrots? Oh, no, no, I'll fucking get them for you. Even though you're student next to them. I was going to say, because the veg is pretty much on a shelf behind where they face, well, behind them as they face towards you. Uh, <laughs> I'm really good. No, no, I'll get it. <laughs> okay, like, right if, nice. if they come in or, if they come in, they'll go, morning, or, aye, aye, the quiny, or whatever like that. They never get back and they'll go, oh, I'm speaking to myself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So um, I'll go and I'll pick up their veg and see if you drop like a carrot or a muddy potato on the floor and then you pick it up and put it back in the yes. bag. They fucking freak. Eh, even uh, though it's muddy. Even though it's muddy and you right. go, oh, it's been the floor and whatnot. It's muddy. Uh-huh. It was grown with shit. With shit. And you're moaning because it's been on my floor. Oh, uh, hygiene. It's nearly like it's mince. It's, oh, for it's nearly like it's fresh meat. Exactly. And plus 10 second rule. Uh, <laughs> on a similar topic... Many, many moons ago, I may or may not have worked in a a popular sort of jack of all trades haberdashery store. That haberdashery may, store, that you may say? have been called, I don't know, say Wellworths or something. What the fuck's a haberdashery? A uh, man of everything, like me. Mm-hmm. I'm a haberdashery butcher. Oh, okay. You sell everything from fucking, you know. Yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be selling snails soon. Oh, oh wow! Remember, yes, yes. Yeah, he remembers. Don't get too much away though. Oh, sh- <laughs> sh- sh- okay, sh- 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 Jillian tequila snails. Yes, sh- okay. <laughs> so Sheep's <if> balls. <laughs> okay, mm. I can get a bag of pigs' dicks. <gasps> Fuck off! I asked the question. I said, "Can you really?" I said, <laughs> "Pigs' dicks." <laughs> I said, "Look, are they short and curly?" Wait. <laughs> hey, sorry. <laughs> I can get a bag of pigs' dicks. <laughs> I said to the guy, uh, just out of curiosity, I give him orders. Uh, oh, yeah, just out of curiosity, uh, uh, could you get me pig's cocks? <laughs> 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 you use that exact phrasing. That, uh, uh, oh, why? Do you know what I love, though? Is that you're phoning your fucking distributor saying, okay, I'll have my usual like, chunk of beef, I'll have my usual fucking... Bu- oh, by the way, pig's cocks. <laughs> you know? But the thing is... You what never, kind of questions that to ask? You never flinched, you went, oh, no problem, I just let me get away your <laughs> Like one time, uh, uh, New Year, Christmas time, December-ish. I Are those like edible though, pigs, pigs cocks? I, uh, I would imagine you buy them and give them to a dog. I've heard that she... Apparently, I've known that dogs like cocks. Pigs <laughs> cocks as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, fucking... So, I've heard that uh, she, <coughs> sheep's balls are seemingly a delicacy somewhere. We'll get to in find out. Because apparently I can get them as well. Oh, no! It, <laughs> it led on a whole conversation. But um, Can we, for the DHB barbecue blowout, have... Almost like a Bush Tucker trial. A Bush Tucker Don't trial. Don't give too much away. Don't give too much away. Shush, <laughs> my shush. Fucking Brady Bobby, you bastard. <laughs> Sorry. Let's <laughs> okay, so turn my box to him. No, Shoot him too much away. Shoot him back. <laughs> <laughs> Three glass of fuck. So, you can get balls. I can get balls. Okay. Now, 
in December, a Filipino guy came in and he normally buys a pig's head every they week. He loves the balls. He loves a pig's head. Oh, pig's head. Pig's like head. a full pig's head. Boils it and he just picks away at it. Oh, no. Can I put them off? Oh, no, no, no. Because I used to cut out the eyes. Oh, no. And put them in somebody's pocket. <laughs> when he went to a bar. <laughs> On a Friday afternoon, he used to freak out. I got a phone call. You fucking asshole! <laughs> but um, no, I, I he, he come in and it was Christmas time, and of course okay. it was like a special sort of soup thing. He was asking. like, we would have it was like fucking a, a steak pie at fucking New Year's or something. Scots will have a steak pie, right? Filipinos like yes, bull's cock. B- fuck off, bull's cock and balls. The huh? guy came in and he kind of broached it. He went, um, "What the? F- can, can you get?" And he started like, <laughs> started what, like grabbing his crotch. No, he was doing like a fucking like his arm. He was going like, "Yes, can you?" Oh, get it? doing the kind of toodle. Kind and, of and he was doing a toodle thing, thing right about his toodle. So, for those of you who aren't seeing the live video, imagine you know how when you, as a kid, if you like get the elbow pressed to your chest or to your crotch, and the forearm is the, is the penis, it's and you will waggle about. Well, that's kind of what he was doing. Okay. But he's going, now he could speak like proper English. Right. But it, was, it hit the accent. He's going, can you go? He didn't want to say, I said, oh, you mean a cock? <laughs> 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 he shook his head. Oh, I'll find out. So, so Filipinos like to eat cock and balls for oh, New Year's Day. Apparently it marks a rare plate of soup. But <laughs> oh, no! The barman, no! the barman don't want to know. No, no. But I, I asked this, the slaughterhouse guy, I says, can you get a bull's cock? He says, Oh, why? I says, no. Is that a fair piece? Will it, will it, will <laughs> I said, well, I'll have to help the driver in with it because I know he's <laughs> getting on. It's a strength in the shelf. Uh, <laughs> so, he saw it. It's a magnificent thing. Like, oh. But he says, uh, we never get bulls in, but let me know so I could get us a bulls cock. What well. the fuck? So, uh, essentially, you could, the, essentially, you could have like a dildo in the shoe. Uh, so, you could have like a display of of like exotic meats. I say exotic, I mean as in like balls, testicles. Well, what about monkey brains? Because seemingly I saw on a TV show one time that people eat monkey brains. Can you get monkey brains? I'm sure monkeys are in slaughterhouses <laughs> all the time. Can you get monkey brains? <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck where you go for it. Can you get monkey brains? See, I'm thinking. I've Wait. fed him heart before. I you fed prob- who heart before? Get fucked. <laughs> You've had heart before. You've you fed steak. me heart before. Uh, when you was... <laughs> When you was going through your health kick, it could have been any one of them. Um, you give me fucking. I <laughs> know uh, there's been a few. So, <laughs> so you said uh, I'm needing. Uh, this was before you went on your your preference of choice. A big chunk of beef. Yes. You used to offer sliced steak. Yes. It? And then you used to slice. Now you slice the steak. Aye. Because you're fucking put me out a job. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, no, I gave you sliced bits of heart. Hold on, oh. because we do have a phone call. Hello, caller. You're on the show. Fuck her in the pussy. <laughs> It's <laughs> <laughs> okay, but but so yeah, I, I well I, I buy from you a hunk of hunk of beef, hunk of beef, and cut myself, cut yourself. Although you bought all my dice chicken the other day, you horrible fuck. Yeah, I did yeah, I did dice more. No, brilliant. Yeah. So, no, Get but um, I, <laughs> I had something to do. That's it. <laughs> Couldn't watch kitten videos on YouTube. <laughs> um, no sliced heart. And you said it was the nicest butter frying steak you'd had in a long time. Real? Was that sliced heart? I never told you it was heart because I thought you might fucking freak out and punch oh, me. Oh, no, I'd, I'd eat like, like a fucking heart. Like, heart, but a lot of, see, like, I was I like, think no, fear, if you said it was heart, I'd say, half price, off. please. <laughs> 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 I still have to eat it. You know, but half price, please. Oh, cut, it's like one of those things you tell a, somebody, this is a certain cut of meat, they go, oh, like women, you'll go, I, you want some liver? Oh, oh, I can't even touch it. You can't touch liver, uh, but you can eat it. It's like some folks say, oh, like, um, like there's old women that come and go, I can't touch the liver, but I'll eat it. I don't quite get that. Oh, right, okay. But yeah, there's some folk that come and go, oh no, I could never eat that. Yet you'll put a guy's dick in your mouth. Yes. Without <laughs> hesitation, without asking. Okay. The thing that collects fucking fromage free underneath yes. the helmet yes. if he fucking doesn't wash it properly. Good point. The thing he pisses out so of. So It stinks of shit. And okay. Pisses. It's right next to his fucking poop shoot. Oh. You'll <laughs> horse that in your mouth. Like a fucking tramp on a fucking drop sandwich. So the question is, Buddy Bob, have you ever had a hot cock in your fucking mouth? <laughs> oh no. Certainly not. Have you ever been over and cracked that bad boy open? I let somebody just plow a fucking hot rod right in your it! I've no. said that to a customer before, though. Have you not, have you? Uh, oh, yeah. She says, uh, it's like a young acquaintance. She was quite arrogant and. Ab- oh, I've got to tell you about my Jeremy Kyle story as well. Get <laughs> fucked. Tell us about the fucking <laughs> pointy with I'll the fucking I'll tell you, that. I'll come R6, back. Oh, she, she come in she goes I, oh, I've been told I need to eat more liver because I'm pregnant again and I'm looking at our little fucking retard fucking kids oh that, no they, they excrete jam from their fucking hands <laughs> oh no and they rub they it cover your fucking display cover my fucking glass and oh. jammy fucking and then here's oh look peppers 
Look, let's squish the pepper. Oh. Go control your little fucking Timmy. Would you just? I know <laughs> you don't love him. You fucking hate him. Yeah, You've only gone because you get more fucking money for uh, your he's benefits. He's an extra sixty pound a week, but go just tell him to shut the fuck up oh, and stand in the corner. No. And it's now he's standing in the corner. Can you tell him not to go in that cupboard that's got the electricity box? I've had oh. a kid in the electricity box fucking about the switches. You've not have you. I said, see if he gets electrocuted, I'm going to laugh. Oh, Timmy, get out of there! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! But uh, I said to her, um, "Well, if you need more iron, liver, bits of beef, uh-huh. blah blah blah." Yeah. Oh, I could never eat liver. And I just went off into a rant. Because she saw it, it's like, oh, oh, how could you touch it? And all this kind of stuff. And I went off into a rant, going, oh, you'll stick a dick in your fucking mouth. And I said that to Lauren, oh, and, and she went, oh, um, I'll just have some burgers then. <laughs> <laughs> never seen her again. See, this is my point, though, is that, is that you know, it, when it comes to these, these Bush Tucker trials, when you have, like, like you know, peg cock, or you have, you know, sheep balls. I'll happily fire up my face. <laughs> much more as long as I know that it won't poison me, I'll give it a try. Oh, no, you'll be fine. Are you sure? As long as it's in spinal cord. Uh, oh, because spinal cord kill you. Foot and mouth and all that kind of shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, okay. I don't want shit. No, I don't want that. No, no, no. No, but I, th- I think... Isn't that PMT? Oh, hey! <laughs> hey, see what in there? What's okay. the difference? One's an agricultural disease, that one's some kind of fucking hormonal problem. <laughs> 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 um, a coiny come into the shop two Saturdays ago I either Queenie I either Queenie and she come in she's quite flustered and she had a buggy and she had a chocolate baby with her a as chocolate it, baby okay as is the fashion okay seemingly it's a I'm fashion I'm not one to judge Jeremy Kyle yep well she come in right and she went oh I said you okay yeah. take, a, yeah, take a second I'm, I mean, I'm in no rush there's you're, no big you're, queue you're having a flush oh, I said oh and she started getting like half oh, flustered and she's looking about and then the shop started filling up and they're like going come on, nip the fuck on I'm getting a queue yes. okay, people get antsy People don't do cues. No. So then she goes, oh, I'm just, I'm so flustered. I've just found out I'm pregnant again. Oh. And I went, oh, really? Oh, and I've no, I had no idea. I said, oh, and I started fucking raging a bit. Because I was in that, it was just after. You were in that mind frame. Just after I'd kicked the fire, the day, day after I'd kicked the fire extinguisher. So I was still tense, a bit fucking tense. A bit right, of okay, okay, yeah. So, I said, oh, oh, I'm just, I'm so flustered. I've. I've just found out I'm pregnant again, and I don't know. I'm not sure who the father is, and I fucking raged. Oh, I went full no. blown Jeremy Kyle. Oh, says, well, no. why didn't you put something on the end of it then? <laughs> Response from the customers was just like that. Was it really? Oh. <laughs> she's fucking stupid. Oh. But she was. It was like she was pissed off. Clark and fake Doesn't that fucking... happen now twice in the last few? Well, I was, I, this was it. Oh, the same I, one. Uh, okay. She stood there, like, it's fucking mid. She was like, I didn't, I'm not sure what colour she was supposed to be. <laughs> but she was so fucking shocked. And, but she was kind of happy because she knew where that quote came from. Oh, wonderful. She watches our fucking programme. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> fucking ace. If I get the chance to quote scripture or Jeremy Kyle someday. I watched a bit of Kyle today during my downtime. My aerial's been ripped off the I side can, of the building. I, I can't really? watch it. Oh, I get fucked. I'm jonesing. I, I, you know what? I watched 10 minutes and I'd turn it off. Because it was some fat lassie saying about how the, her 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 partner or her ex partner who also had a fatter lassie new girlfriend was seemingly the well she said she was ninety nine point nine percent sure he wasn't the daddy. They're and, good at math. And you they? know what? Guess what? Guess what? He was the daddy. That one point oh percent, point zero one percent. He uh, who would have thought? Who'd have thunk it? She was through the back, the mascara's in the face. Did Jeremy say this? I don't know why I bloody bother having a stage anymore! Exactly! <laughs> he chased her through the house, her pal got told to fuck off because she was <laughs> nippy as fuck. It was beautiful. Oh, I was glued. And I thought, what am I doing in my life? Turn that shit off for fuck's sake. It was no- I mean, Brady Bobby. Hello, Brady Bobby. <laughs> Have you, what do you, how do you feel about the old Jimmy Kyle situation? Well, interestingly, I've been in. A- on the show! <laughs> <laughs> You've been on the show! <laughs> is this baby mine? It came at Mars. I have been in a room of pregnant women okay. where that very exact quote has been blurted out on the communal television. Oh. To leave me sniggering violently into my hand. Lice. I'm thinking, I wonder how many of these women wish they'd heard that advice before now. Or at I'll, least hear the Lord's version. I'll, I've sniggered violently in my hand quite a few times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, but you... No, 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 no. no. Gentlemen, um, to go off track here entirely again, because no. that's what we do here on no, the Show. I know, not. I know, Buddy Bobby, that's what we do here on the, the show. The money, the Buddy Bobby. Is that this Saturday coming, 
there could be a... Do you know what? Of course, because, you know, podcasting is not the hardest thing in the world to do. But you we know? are the kings of it. We're the kings of it. You know, you're, you're, you're the king of butchery. We're the king of podcasting, you see. And we sit here on a Monday night or We're gonna tonight. We're going to get so many emails. Tonight's a Wednesday, of course, you know, but... <laughs> We sit here and we just, I know. You can hear the vaginas clamping shut (laughs) out. (laughs) No! See! See, Pretty Bobby, you know! Okay, I'll I'll address this before I go on, you see, is that if you dare say that you're good at your podcasting, you've got every other podcaster going, Oh, oh, who do they think they are? Oh my God! You know? Oh, what's up? How can you see that? We get thousands of downloads a week. We're good at what we do. I don't give a fuck anymore. I'm going to say it, Millard. I'm going to say it, sir. Do it. Do it. We fucking rock. We've got our shit nailed, sir. We've, we're only growing. We're only growing, Brady Bobby. We're only growing. Every week we're getting more and more downloads. The truth whiskey. That's what it is. <laughs> the, the truth, truth whiskey. whiskey. <laughs> and this is thanks to you fuckers out there who are sharing our show and telling your friends. We're growing because people like what we do. If you fuckers out there are pissing and moaning, <laughs> oh, wise up. They think they're so special because they've got fucking, they've got vinyl things in their walls <laughs> and they've got like cameras and live shows. Yes, we are. We do it when you don't, you fucking tubes. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. Lurch, keep putting me up here. Yeah. Don't leave me floating, sir. <laughs> yeah. I'll be king of butchery. <laughs> Truth Whiskey has to be our show name is Volga. <laughs> You're right, sir. You're right. That's our show name right there. Thank you, Volga. Is that fuck them all. Fuck, fuck them all. all. You know, I enjoy your shit, but we're damn good at it too as well. Fuck I am off. confident in our abilities to swear in microphones. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what you say. We are entertaining. I got a laugh at this shit. That's all that fucking counts. Yeah. That's what, see, that's why the pals are so sexy. Exactly. Thank you. Like that was a I, you haven't buttoned up at all here. Oh, indeed. I I'm agreeing fucking, with you. I went having a fucking tangent here. <laughs> I don't know. And you just left me hanging, you prick of a boy. No, we are the best. <laughs> I wouldn't say the best. No, but we're not the best. We're the best. But we're very good. We're the fucking we're the kings of fucking <laughs> podcasting. We are. We're not. We're not the best, but we're the kings. So <laughs> I've, got, I've got a new. I've got a new job. <coughs> a new job. Or a new arena. And using my voice coming up very shortly on Saturday, in fact. Oh. Which I am fucking shitting my pants over. Very, very nervous. I now, believe of course, it's yourself and a Eurovision Song Contest. It on. really is. Myself and Conchita Wurst, <laughs> <laughs> Austrian contestant for Eurovision. What? <laughs> Fly like a phoenix. We will be. Uh, it will be. So, <laughs> here's what's happening. You know, you know what the fucked up thing is, right? Conchita said he's dying. He's dying his beard pink. <laughs> he said he was going to dye his beard pink, right? You're right. And he tagged me in the post, which I thought, okay, fair enough. But <laughs> there's two homosexuals on my page, right. whom I went to school with. Okay. Both like the post. Oh. <laughs> they like the fact that he's dying his beard pink. Oh no no no! He he, he won't be taking that. Conchita, the ask me to pass your details on to them. Oh, Conchita. I uh, maybe will. Because I know you like Eurovision that shit. Eurovision Song Contest winner, Conchita Burst, a.k.a. Chris Mark. Oh, fucking press. Okay, so enough of that shit. So, anyway. Anyway. What's going to happen is, this is a, it's a, it's a, a roller derby game against the Grand City Roller Girls, their Northern Fights team, Against the Fierce Valley Roller Girls, Parma Violets are called, as well, you see. Now, this is a game happening at the Beach Leisure Centre in Aberdeen here on the 26th, which is this Saturday, and it's free entry. You come along for free. Free. It's free. Free. There's cake stalls, man. <laughs> there's cake stalls. Cake. Oh, oh. there's cake. It's oh, free, there. and, and there's cake stalls. We're there. You come to this game. You can open, you can get in to go the whistle. To get going is at three o'clock. Could I? Can I? Can I just ask a question? Yes, certainly. Could there be a butcher stall? <laughs> they have asked you to sponsor them before, and you haven't gone back to them. I fucking have. Have you? Have you? Fuck through you, you cunt! Did you not? You I fucking... did indeed. <laughs> okay, fine. So the, the doors open at two o'clock at the beach, Aberdeen Beach 
I'm, I'm burping away here. <laughs> the Aberdeen Beach Laser Center at two o'clock. Kick off is at three o'clock. I say kick off. First whistle is at three o'clock. You see, that's when the game gets going. But it turns out that their usual announcer, Conchita Worst, who's fantastic, has an apprentice for that game. It's oh. me. <laughs> I'm going to be announcing. Is I'm going to be announcing that game. Is he going to be stood beside you stroking your beard? Oh, but it'd be hopefully. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm very excited. Brady Bobby, you, you look stunned. Uh, you're going to be using the wrestling parlance, or are you going to be the Jerry the King Lawler? I think I'll be the colour commentator. J- JR. Y- yes. I think Conchita will be. Bell's the Bell's palsy galore. <laughs> <We're starting laughs> like fuck. You could look good. I think Conchita's going to be the. <laughs> Stop the damn match! Stop the damn match! <laughs> Take it to the bridge. This is a slobber knocker! <laughs> Stone Cold! Stone Cold! <laughs> He's stomping a there battle! Was a <laughs> so, I think Conchita's gonna be leading, obviously, doing the whole kind of play by play, because he, I don't know shit. He'll be, he'll be leading about his the skates, he'll look fabulous! With his pink beard. <laughs> I will be there in my beautiful regalia and co announcing. I'm very excited! So, folks, listen, here's the deal. Take your arse down to the Aberdeen Beach Laser Centre at 2 o'clock for kick-off at 3 o'clock to see and to shout support for not only the Rubes, because she's playing, but also the Crust, she's playing, the Tessington, Tesseract, who's been on the show, she's refereeing. We're all going to be there. So come down, <laughs> give support to the game. But, but listen, there's a rule, though, right? There's a rule. If you come to the game... You're not allowed to boo me, right? <laughs> I'm looking at you, Lurch, right? There's no booing, there's no booing, there's no jeering. There's no, oh, sausage tits! None of that carry on, okay? Oh, would, I, would I be allowed to wear my Scott Taylor circa fucking 1990 hoodie? <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> because I will be shitting bricks, right? I need all this. So what we need is support for me to keep them going, but also supporting the team to get the get behind the GCRG in this game against the Parma Violets. So, folks, I want to see you there on Saturday coming, which is the 26th of July, from 2 o'clock, kickoffs at 3 o'clock at the Beach Leisure Centre. Come and see the game and and, and, let me, and see me make a fool of myself, because it'll be fucking great fun. Now, this comment, this comment, is it going out over a PA or is it being recorded? It's over a PA, but not PA. recorded. Okay. So we can't use it for the show, sadly. I'm just wondering here whether there's an opportunity... In the microphone, like, boy, please. <laughs> Hey, he loves that. He loves it. Oh, here, I would love if Conchita said that to you on Saturday. Oh, I would love that. Oh, I pity well as well, <laughs> bastard. Is there an opportunity for a bounty to be placed on how many in jokes, DHB in jokes, you can fit into <gasps> your commentary? Oh, I'll put a Baron's bounty on it. Would you really? I put a Baron's bounty on fucking sponsoring him, but you never fucking return my call. You can't. How, how about? Uh, oh, I got. He was contacted through get you. Back to me, you horrible prick of a boy. Uh, Listen. <laughs> <laughs> I will call that you. Listen, how about how about if you come to the if you come to the to the uh, to the game, and you've got a DHB but clean, it's no ad related sign. <laughs> okay, that's it's proper wrestling now, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I know that you because no because people people bring signs to these games. <laughs> the Coops is coming as well to with, with our kids. Is that any dangerous though? Oh, they're, cir- they're skating around in a circle, knocking shit at one another, and you're hunting up a fucking sign to distract ah, them. Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> because see, the the spectators sit like like twenty feet back from the fucking lines. <laughs> there is what they call the suicide line, oh, where if you're get- brave, you can sit like trackside, but if if they fall, you get <coughs> nailed. Please tell you me see. there's like somebody on a bike that pedals around the circle and they grab onto the bike as well. No, and they've got like metal. It's maces, not rollerball. Maces and clubs. And oh, oh. on a unicycle. Oh, they got pe- oh. juggling. Is it got like jelly? We'll see. Is it we'll got jelly and boobies and shit like that? We'll see. I I I I've, <laughs> I've dabbled in the in the men's derby thing, but thinking I you know, in. I good in. Should I thinking, good in? Thinking there might be clubs and motorbikes and fucking spikes, but there's not. Is it just naked showers together? <laughs> yeah. The worst? That's bad touch. Bad touch. <laughs> Let's blam in his showers. How fucking do you, sir? <laughs> so folks, I was totally blam at Arthur for I'm you right now. I'm gonna kill the fuck out of you, man. <laughs> Spider bastard. Listen, if you're based in the Aberdeen area, folks, come along on Saturday. <laughs> we'll see you there. I will be playing. Uh, I'm playing. I'll, I'll be commenting. Sorry, alongside Conchita Burst, <laughs> the Eurovision Song Contest winning Conchita Burst. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you, sir? She's an international star. Rise <laughs> like a phoenix out of the ashes. Yeah, so she'll be there too. 
That's fucking wonderful. scary. How? You know the words. It's on the screen. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the screen. <laughs> well, allegedly. Allegedly. So, um, <laughs> before we wrap up tonight, because we have been going for like fucking, let me see, how long have we been going for now? We've been going for like two hours and a quarter. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Good till the sun comes Are you up. in a rush to get home I before just, far? I just need to go to work here tomorrow. I can just <laughs> sleep overnight. I'll be fine. I'll, I'll, I'll get a camp bed. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> 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 Have we got any news stories? We do. Okay. Let's do some news. Uh, where's the button? Here we go. Fuck you, people. Here's the headlines on the DHB News. I'm surprised the barman hasn't said you need to change the news logo as well. Here's a thing. I know exactly, you horrible bastard. <laughs> You it's know what, nice actually, to have a fresh lick of paint every now and again. You know what? You're right. But then again, when we have changed our intro, I think twice now since we started, it's still the same. Twice. Well, we, t- we changed because when we first started, it's Guns we used and Roses, it, you know, Guns and Roses, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then we changed to um, like a kind of like a warning. Kind of Could noise. we not have an intro that's like that? In fact, here's here's the old intro. Task warning. You're listening to the DHB Radio Show. Remember that one? That's C6 show. Steve, is it not? The show is, yes, that see? Lots of strong so that was the... So we, we've changed in like two... In only like three years, <coughs> three and a, three and a half years now, three and a half years roughly, we've changed three times. So how dare you say that we're being stagnant? <laughs> I know, we've changed three times in the first two months. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, guys, Boris Johnson, the mayor of London... He's a bit mental, is he? Isn't he really? I like him. I do like him, but you've got to think right now, in the lurch, imagine, imagine you're more of a celebrity than you are currently, you see. <laughs> and you have a session on Twitter. <laughs> <Fucking celebrity. laughs> you do all they are. <laughs> is that imagine you said, right, ask me anything at all on Twitter. You know, I'm, I'm going to have a Q&A on Twitter. Is there, is there anything you don't know about me, though, from the DHB? I mean, who takes in <laughs> <laughs> a fucking 14-inch double-ended cock? <laughs> Is there anything I could possibly not tell you? Exactly. Is that, imagine you have a QA and a on, t- I mean, Brady Bobby. Aye, aye, the Brady Bobby. <laughs> Brady Bobby. <laughs> the Bobby. The Brady Bobby. The Brady Bobby. <laughs> the Brady Bobby. Imagine, for example, you have like a QA and a on, on Twitter, mm-hmm. you see. And you see, you know what, ask me fucking anything, like Boris Johnson has. Now, what, what would you expect to be asked question-wise, for example? Why are the bus fares in London so pricey? Oh, you're boring as fuck. Okay, so listen. <laughs> this is the question. <laughs> Boris. That would be your serious question. My Good question point. You're Boris would be, if you will. What Boris. Ask Boris. Do you enjoy a finger up the poop shoot? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's that's in the vein of what happened. Because it turns <laughs> out... It turns out that if you when you do this shit on Twitter or Reddit, <coughs> the people are going to be cunts towards fuck you. Is other, tw- what? Have you, Reddit. Heard, have you never heard of Reddit? I've only just found Twitter. Oh, you're ridiculous. Reddit is the same kind of thing as well. It's not, it's, not, it's not even like Twitter. It's like funny posts and you can comment and shut up. You told me Facebook and Twitter were funny. Reddit's good as well. <laughs> so, uh, and Imager as well. It's good to oh, oh my but, God. So here's here's one from at Blessed with Pace. Blessed with Pace. Who writes, Hi, Boris. What's the biggest animal you think you could single-handedly cling from the lamppost? <laughs> <laughs> The biggest animal you think you could single-handedly cling from the lamppost. I'll ask you, Lurch. What do you think the biggest animal is you could single-handedly cling from the lamppost? A three-arse cheek duck bill platypus. <laughs> Fabulous. What about you, Brady Bobby? The lesser platted hippocrocomus. Oh, shit. It's not okay. <laughs> right, so. <laughs> what about yourself, Mr. Taylor? Uh, Tom Cullen writes, asks, Why isn't there a statue in Trafalgar Square of whoever created the first Wagamama? <laughs> 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 what the fuck is Wagamama? Eddie, at Eddie Wong, no asked him, have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror before and for that split second thought, you were the honey monster? Oliver James asks, asks Boris Johnson, do you ever run naked through this London at 3am? Yelling, I'm kicking the same! <laughs> I do, I tell the Jones 6 in the morning. <laughs> Here's a question, though. You do actually, yes. I know. <laughs> Here's a question, though, that I will pose towards both of you. Is that at Ian Kellard asks Boris Johnson, Boris Johnson, would you rather have a breast that dispenses talcum powder or a finger that can travel through time? Oh. Would you rather have oh. a breast that dispenses talcum powder or a finger that can travel through time? I think I'm going to have to go with the breast and talcum powder because... I love talcum powder. Oh, naturally. And I love boobs. Oh, okay. 
They're like, oh, that's, that's like putting, oh, that is amazing. That's like putting chocolate and whiskey together. <laughs> what about you? Pretty bubble, yeah. I think you need to go with the, the finger through thing. Can you imagine the amount of bad touches you could sneak out on people? Not Nothing that would get you locked up, but just the occasional. You dirty, horrible bastard. <laughs> See, no, what, quite, what was that? What I quite like that? that idea now. No, 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 no. no. Don't yeah. give him ideas. Can I, can I have both, but on like rotation? Like on a Saturday, Sunday, I'll have yeah. the finger. During the week, I'll have the breast yeah. with talcum powder. At Poorly B asks. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously not on the menu. <laughs> as, as Poorly B asks, if we set fire to your hair in early November, would it keep burning and heat the homes of Britain's elderly until <laughs> mid-March? <laughs> That's political satire. Isn't it really? I like that. At Biscuit Ahoy writes, <laughs> If you built a raft out of Rivita, at least five layers, and varnished it, do you think it would get across the Atlantic? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Did he get any serious questions? At Joe Heenan writes, Do you think the outside of a mini baby bell would make a good wax jacket for a mouse. <laughs> 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 the best one though that I love the most is from at Quebec Tango. Which MP do you reckon is most likely to have had a crafty knee trembler against a biffa bin by the pound stretchers? <laughs> 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 I mean, naturally, he replied to fucking on them. You know, but I think that's fucking gold. I don't like Boris as much as I used to. <laughs> Do you know it? I'd, I'd reply to them all. You totally would. <laughs> In fact, folks, I want you to I want you to send these kind of questions to at lurch underscore monster. <laughs> <laughs> on Twitter, at lurch underscore monster. <laughs> send them your questions. <laughs> And we will retweet the best replies. <laughs> okay, that's a good plan there. What about you, uh, uh, Brady Bobby? Eh? Do you have a Twitter account by chance? Uh, not at the moment. I've not discovered. Can we can we organise at Brady Bobby for the fucking I'm sh- at DHB Brady Bobby? If I can't do it myself, I'm sure the Baron can accommodate. Oh. He fixes everything, you know. I fix everything, but I'm fucking shit. Do I you fucking hell? <laughs> fucking shit stuff. <laughs> Jake, you fall asleep, you horrible bastard. Oh, well, we are king of butchery. Should we call it a night? No, because, you know, it, was ju- it was merely a lack of oxygen in the it's brain. Like, it's like 10 to 10 at night, though. You know, we should really be... <laughs> Should we wrap it up? Sure, have no idea. Okay, one more. So, <laughs> a married man goes to the doctors with stomach cramps. Turns out, wait for it, turns out, he's a woman with period pains. No. Thank <laughs> you. Now, this, this happened in in, uh, in Mr. Pink's favourite favorite country. Could, oh. it be, could it be China? <laughs> no. Yes, it was. <laughs> oh, fucking China, fucking China. <laughs> Wangu province. Mr. Chen, Mr. Chen <laughs> went and it discovered after some checks by the GP that not only was he experienced period pains, he had female genitals. So I was going to say, sorry, if it was a checks, uh, if you just like to cough your labia, well, if you'd like to unfold your flaccid labia into my hand, well, they, they cough gave, please. Oh, it's not balls. They gave him the old CT scan <laughs> and even though he identified as male, he had nothing male down below. It was a, 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 a vagina. Ovaries, you're as old shit a man. It was nothing. Not even like, you know, you get some folk who are like born and kind of both ways. You know, but they've got a swing, you know, they're, they're a bit kumsi kumsa. Wired, <laughs> wired for light and sound, so to speak. Basically, yes. Wired for light and sound. He was, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, sir. Half squeeze. Was only <laughs> wired for sound. So, you know, but, the, but he claims, or she claims, that, but, but, but get this though, Mr. Chen is married, that claims that he and his wife. Have had regular sex. He claims that his three children <laughs> are totally his. Oh, <laughs> you know? So yeah. So there we go. What the fuck? I discovered he was a girl I because he's got a vagina. I got a few customers in. And I did look at them and think, "All right, Goodine, you're fucking, you, you're batting. You've got both fucking. You've got, <laughs> you've got both bits. You've got tackle on the dip. Oh yes. <laughs> okay. Now w- one more before we go. One okay, more. right. Okay, is that we do have now? We have been drinking uh, your concoction. Which you've, which you've left, by the way, I'm, your chocolate. I'm getting ready thing. to start pulling the hair out. Oh, are you okay? Because uh, you've had I mean, that, that's, that's a whole glass of chocolate whiskey. I had nearly a whole bottle. Is it okay? Oh, good. <laughs> Is, oh, good, good man. Is that, now, in the morning, you wake up and you can be hungover like fuck. And as you get older, I'm sure guys, you'll, you'll agree, as you get older, the, the hangovers get worse. Steady on omnisology. How fucking do you, sir? Like half your age. Get, 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 get
Pretty Bobby. <laughs> you must. I mean, you you're getting on a bit. Are you I'm not? Getting on, I'm getting you, on a bit. Yeah. You know what I'm on a bit here. Is that in the mornings the hangovers get worse and worse? You know, where mm-hmm. not like your youth where you could, you know, like like large monster bastard here, mm-hmm. where you can get up and go, I'm fine, I'm back to work, Excuse and me. fucking cut meat all day. Now you're like, oh, three days of feeling like shit. Why is up? <laughs> There's now a service where you can pay a doctor three a uh, hundred and seventy five pounds to come to your home and give you an IV drip. Which will make you feel better, which seemingly will cure you of a hangover. Would you pay that much money to feel better after a night in the piss? Lurch most ask you. How much was that again? A hundred and seventy five pounds. For three pounds eighty. Right. I could give you one pound in weight of iron brew sausages. For fucking three pounds <laughs> of your fucking money. <laughs> <laughs> It's got it's f- fried food is supposed to help a hangover. True. Plus it's iron brew. Well, that was my thinking was two of the best things together. Go to fucking go to McDonald's and get a burger and chips and don't, else. don't go to McDonald's. Sorry, go to Lord's Monster Clay Butcher. Thank you. Uh, Sixty one Hayton Road. That's one. <laughs> Two one Aberdeen. That's one. Phone numbers. Uh, I don't even know your phone number. Fuck you don't even know your own phone, phone number. I had to fucking blow out my phone oh, number. Oh, you fucking um, chubby boy. 480249. Okay. Have uh, the money. Website is uh, uh, largemonster.co.uk or aberdeenbutchershop.com. Fabulous, fabulous. And they can come to you for a hangover. Why don't you sell a hangover come pack? Me, uh, uh, come to me for a hangover. <laughs> a hangover pack? Well, yes, hangover. Your <laughs> honey fucking whiskey. Hangover cure. Okay. <laughs> your chocolate whiskey, sorry. Is, so why, why not sell then from. A hangover pack. <laughs> the food that you know is going to, you know, a can of iron brew, you know. Well, you put the iron brew sausages. Does it mean I don't really have, like, beef pickled on you, beef fucking monster munch or something? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> a fucking free <laughs> bento spy. <coughs> oh, dear. Listen, guys, we're going to call an end tonight, tonight's show. We've got an end. Long. Oh, I see. Hello, Steve. You fucking cock you. <laughs> <laughs> um, before we go... Uh, Lurch Monster, do you want to say goodbye to them by tall before we go? Or? Oh, fuck you, I put it on. Oh, I've, no. I've got a list of people, actually. Have you really? At Northern Monkey. Yes. For said face paint is. So he sent you the face paints? A book of fucking face paints. A book of face paints. And an additional gold sachet tube You're for 18 mil a gold paint. Because, I mean, I was going to say tonight, your face... Oh, two cents, two cents, hold on. Hold on, because we do have a call that I need to answer. Um, let, 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 let me just fade this one out here, and... Hello, Corey, on the show. Now then, now then, now then, now then. Zombie. Mr. Savile, sir, it's been so long. How are you keeping house things? Brady Bobby's losing his shit. How are you doing, pal? <laughs> well, I'm not too bad, you'll say. I mean, I had a problem with my throat the other week, as oh, I no. did mention... But I found it again. <laughs> okay. <Ba-boom>. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, how are you doing, sir? How's things? Well, I've been catching up on the news for the last few weeks. The news, you'll see. All oh, right. I mean, it comes to something when Jim Davidson's the good guy and Rolf Harris is the bad guy. It does, yes. You're right enough. <laughs> I mean, I used to paint during my rare relaxing times alone, at home, you see. <laughs> I started off slowly, I was a bit of a novice at first, you see, but now I know why the Ralph Harris's paint by numbers only went from 7 to 19. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, young man, <laughs> oh, young man, the top of the pops. Uh, I'll say bye-bye. Did lose zombie hearts, zombie stubble. Zombie. Stubble. The monarism's deal. <laughs> Fucking hell, he has. It's, it's me, right? So sorry. So you've... <laughs> so, Lords, you've got your face paints from Northern Monkeys. A bucket of face a painting bucket kit. Of- no, I've got a creepy book with kids' faces in it. I didn't quite appreciate that, but, Northern but, Monkeys. But didn't you see that this face paint kit that came out of the blue... It's worth like 50 quid or something like that. It, it's like the one that I've always looked at and thought, no. <laughs> no. Holy and then shit. It fuck, it, the, uh, see, when the Amazon guy shows up, I tend to go, oh, fucking hell. Uh, oh, what have I done? Oh, yes. I never got to tell you last time you interrupted me and I forgot. All oh, right. A couple of shows ago, I bought a um, day, f- day that, uh, a fucking House of the Dead right. arcade machine. <laughs> you didn't, did you? I no, had to send the fucker back. No. The thing arrived, right? It was like... <laughs> <laughs> the buzzer went for the flat door. And I'm thinking, what the fuck is this shit? Uh, fuck hello? Man, sorry. Oh, uh, delivery bodies. 
and that was all I heard. I went, eh, uh, oh, is it for me? No, no response. So I thought, I uh. buzzed it. I buzzed the door. There was a heap of crashing and banging. I thought, that's not for me. So I sat down. 20 minutes later, this fat fucker showed up at the door, ringing the bell, breathing out of his ring piece. Right. He just lugged this, like, fucking 50 kilo arcade machine up the stairs. I'm like, what the fucking Holy hell is shit. this? <laughs> yeah. Uh, a delivery for a baron. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> Oh no, that's my fucking drunken fucking eBay account. Oh no. Because I, I, I had sausage breath changed my eBay password. Right. So I don't know what it is. And Paul Stey was pissed. You set up a new one. I set up a fucking new one. Oh no. So he, I says, I, I can't sign for this. Because uh-huh. I looked at it and I oh, what the fuck. My fo- this is when my phone was broken as well. Right. So in my piss state, I've gone onto a computer. Okay. And fucked about on eBay. Not told myself. Not left oh, a little no. post-it note. Oh, By the way, not. I've bought a fucking... A House of the Dead arcade machine. A £998 arcade <gasps> machine. Oh, oh, you fucker. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 do the, the, <laughs> I do the book checking. Like, That's not as bad as the fucking DeLorean you bought. Mm. Like, oh, nearly bought. Nearly bought, sorry. I bought the, the, the fucking, fucking alien replica fucking machine gun you bought in there as well. The though. smart rifle. Yes. Oh, it's, it's, so you send this cunt back. Uh, what a fucking nightmare. Really? Emails back and forth through PayPal. We're, we're talking through PayPal now. Oh, no. We're not talking to each other anymore. Yes. Me and, like, Arcade Tabletops UK. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we don't get along. Oh, no. So, no. But uh, face paints are appreciated, Northern Monkey. Okay, thank you very much. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, su- sweet Rage as well. Sweet Rage, of you course, yes. Sweet Rage. Sweetrage.co.uk. Um, by the way, folks, if you get a chance, check our website. It's fantastic. It's it's basically um, angry fruit or angry sweeties <laughs> that are made as jewellery. It's fucking awesome. I've bought a few pieces for the rubes and for everything else, but it's, it's great. It really is. And the lassie who does Sweet Rage uh, also modelled our t-shirts back in the day. We're going to try and get her on a show because she's funny as fuck. She's coming down here soon, apparently. Is she really? Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to try and get her on a show if we can because she's funny, funny, honestly. But yes, check out sweetrage.co.uk. Fantastic stuff. Anybody else? Um, Thomas Breed. Thomas Breed. Yes, Thomas Breed. Dropped last, off some drink. Last night of the show, came by, came by your store. We took some photos together. We did, yes. Well, you did, sorry. Because, of course, <laughs> we, we have said for folks, if, folks, if you want to leave anything for the show, do so at Lurch's shop. Now, of course, he dropped us a, a big puck of drink for us. Uh, Budweiser bottles, uh, fucking ciders, bottles of whiskey. Into your storage box for uh, the barbecue there is show. A storage box. Oh, it's fantastic. Now, there's shit from... Uh, the Greg hyphen oh, Skinner's oh, turn that shit off. Right? How yeah. many are we going to get up to? Oh, <laughs> I know well, I was thinking. See, for every liter of beer that is, every liter of alcohol that we get, right. I will donate one pound to charity. One pound, yeah. you tight fucking bastard. Forty-two pounds so far. Is it really okay? Sorry. So, yeah. if you want to, if you want to leave any alcohol or leave anything at all for the show, see if you come in with like really shitty fucking smart price alcohol, just to piss me off. We don't want you to come again. <laughs> no. That fucking sounds horrible. <laughs> look, I look, look, I like a hundred liters of fucking <laughs> frosty jack, and I want that shit. Okay, okay you're okay. get a pound for that. Right. Okay. <laughs> But, um, so every, for every liter, I'll donate a pound a charity. Of Holy shit! Get well, a little folks, bit of publicity for the show. Good thing, in Mike. Oh, brilliant! So, folks, if you can, uh, or if you want to, sorry, uh, to support our uh, Martin Stoke barbecue show, is if you want to leave any alcohol to over the, or anything at all for the show, do so at Lodge Monster Shop, and you will take everything from there. With it you. will go in the DHB storage bin. Fabulous! Of course, we have to thank, of course, Thomas Breed, and of course, previously before Abby Skinner, and, and everyone, of, of course, before who's left, you know, stuff for the shit, show. Shit! I forgot the letter. I just oh. met, we got a letter sent to the the shop. Right. It was from Mister Ploppy Socks. Okay. The three pounds <laughs> sell <laughs> Oh yes, of course, yeah. yes. Thank you, sir. It was a thank you letter. <laughs> so what about you, Brady Bobby? I'm the fucking finished yet, buddy. Welcome back to you, <laughs> Brady Bobby. Anyway, say hello to, goodbye to, or, or hello to, or thank you to, or uh, so. yeah, hello uh, everybody that's listening. Hope you enjoyed my early silence. <laughs> um, quick shout out to the Russian separatists. Stop being dicks. Fabulous. And uh, stay sexy, pals, stay I believe sexy. is the correct salutation. Oh, 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 oh. What did the go back to you again? Sorry. You, who else have you got? Rage I'm not playing it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead, I'm going. Um, Davy and Dent for the free hoodie you sent me. Oh, yes, of course. Davy and Dent from thebettersound.com. I think it is. Uh, DaveyandDent.com, strangetimeshow.com. Yes, check out Davey and Dent, check out bettersound.com for his podcast. There. He sent you a free hoodie, I believe, to replace the one that was shipped before. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, it was. It shrunk and it all went, you know. Clamp. I don't mean it was shit, I mean it shrunk. He knows what I mean. 
edge strong no David David email him okay. no I mean, I mean it's strong <laughs> for fuck's sake so you got a new one <laughs> Give on you went really cool as well it was gift wrapped it was oh, lovely again. it was lovely <laughs> well, well the fucking boys are here so fucking fun um, everybody had sent a message on Facebook and Twitter really just, yes just all the pals all the pals I'm glad you stayed sexy while I was away and we're glad you're back and you're going to stay sexy <laughs> oh lovely okay Folks, of course, the usual spiel from me. Uh, thank you much, so much for hanging around and for supporting the show. We really appreciate, of course, uh, your support of the show by using our Amazon link for your purchases. DHP Amazon Co. UK uh, really helps the show out and it helps us buy these new sexy microphones for the studio. So keep using that if you can. Um, of course, go to dhpshop.com where there's a wide selection of fucking awesome hoodies t-shirts, aprons, phone cases, mouse mats. There's more coming as well shortly, hopefully, so keep an eye on that as well, too. Um, be f- be Feel free to go on to the iTunes and leave us a review there, because we are climbing the old comedy charts there, but we need your help to climb even faster. So spread the word, tell your friends, get more folk involved, leave us a wee five-star review, and that would be, be appreciated. It helps us get more exposure on that as well. But yeah, guys, uh, and thank you to Lord's Monster for going back. Um, thank you to uh, Brady Bobby eh, for being part of it as well with the, with the hot hat on. It's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to have you Especially here. Especially for the pals. For the pals. Anything for the pals. <laughs> I love that boy. I'm going to push me his head. Uh, <laughs> folks, <laughs> toodaloo, motherfuckers. You've been amazing. I won't do the blah, 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 because you hate that as well. Fucking hate it. But toodaloo, oh, 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 motherfuckers. Three pounds. <laughs> Okay, we'll change it for fucks. <laughs> <laughs>